Well, we're here. We're live. Yay! I'm ready for some shenanigans. Oh. Are you ready for some shenanigans? I thought, I thought, I thought you were up there for those shenanigans. I guess not. Hey, hey. Jeff, how you doing? What up, Chief? Right. How's it going, buddy? It's good to see you. As normal, Discord. I'm there. So if you guys want to conversate, <laughs> the boy haters, they're checking it out. You know, doing he, what I do. He is our, our, our room mod and everything like that. Hey, what up, Wild Card? How's it going, buddy? Anyway, guys, thank you everybody for being here. Uh, we have a new setup, which we're happy about, that will work. It won't cut out and screw up the episode. Are you going to talk hey. about the specs and all that yes. sexiness and all that, or no? I don't know. Yeah, Shall I talk a, about yes, that? I yes, say yes. talk about that yeah, sexiness about that. over there. So anyway, guys, luckily for us, our uh, corporation finally dealt out all the PCs that we're going to need and everything like that. And for our stream, they gave us the sexy C series. So it's literally just sitting right there. Right in front of us. What up, soldier? Whoa! I've not seen you in for a while. How's it going, soldier? It's good to see you. Oh, he's soldier is my longest. He was one of my longest time supporting uh, viewers. Okay. Uh, he's been busy since he got a life, uh, so right. he doesn't come around as much. But I'm just glad to see him. Man, a life. What's, What's up, soldier? Dude? Thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah. Well, I mean, he has a kid, so and he and he's a really oh, respectful father yeah. and stuff, and like, nice. but he teaches his son to game with him. He's got okay. he's got a good thing going he's for him. Doing, nice. you're, you're making the next nice. generation a gamer. I respect yeah, exactly, that. exactly. Oh, yeah. Soldier, keep up to it, buddy. Uh, so anyway, guys, so we got a C series spec'd out. It's got a nice 1060 in it. Uh, it's VR ready. It's got eight gigabytes of DDRM. They didn't go super high end. They were just like, you know, here's a PC for this side of it. Which I'm okay with because we can still run all the games and still do VR for you guys. Been working the day shift, taking care of the sun. No, I understand, soldier. Oh, nice. Well, dude, you can still come around to the stream. It's late at night, man. <clears throat> anyway, so, uh, and they gave us a new PC here. We're going to be doing some live game demos on our YouTube channel, guys. So if you guys are not following us on YouTube, you can actually join us. I know it's a 1060, which is basically a 1070, which is basically a 1080. Just higher gigabytes. That's about it. Like, or more. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's essentially what it is. But, uh, so on top of that, guys, uh, so we're going to be doing game playthroughs, uh, but I don't know if I should tell them, guys. Should I tell them what we're going to be giving away on our special Friday Halloween stream on the 28th? I mean, it seems like Do it's a pretty Do you want to build a suspense? Do we just want to tease don't know. it? I know. We should, we should tease we them. Tease it? We shouldn't let them know. Some people don't like to be teased, though. You know, some people like the action. I don't and, know. You know. But there's, there's some fun in that teasing, though. No, no. We, we can tease no. it out. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, we can. We can tease it out more than a New York uh, woman's hair. What is that? What? I don't know. New Jersey. I, Sorry. Oh, okay. I know. Oh, yeah, see. Yeah. My bad. I missed that one up. Yeah, I fall asleep like a normal person now. No, I understand, soldier. It does happen. Anyway, uh, so, you know what? Screw it. We'll tell you guys. All right, all right. So, guys, I was fortunate enough to uh, acquire some Battlefield 1 codes. I won't tell you how many. They fall off the back of a truck acquire? Or what? you know people acquire? We we know people acquire. Okay, that's the legitimate one. The but anyway, guys, we got a butt ton of Battlefield 1 codes that we want to give to you guys. Mm -hmm. If you don't have Battlefield 1, you guys can now win yourself a free copy. But it's not just a typical copy. It's the early enlisters copy. Mm. Oh. I want one of those now. What's going on? I know. If you're jokingly calls was it if you're jokingly calls you his girlfriend, what does that mean? A guy jokingly calls you his girlfriend. What does a that mean? A guy calls you his girlfriend. I don't know. Are don't you? Know. A, is that a girl? Was it? Was it like? Oh, oh whatever, girlfriend. Or was it like? This is my girlfriend. This is my girlfriend. Or my girlfriend. is he heterosexual? Because if he's, I mean, isn't, aren't there some people who say that in like play? Just in normal language. They could. They could. They could very much so. I would never say that about a woman randomly. Uh, your actually, girlfriend? I yeah, I don't know if I would say that about my actual girlfriend, actually. You know, you gotta keep your options open. But Wait, you have a girlfriend? No. Oh. I did. Uh, oh. Uh, I, know. Okay. I was like, he's hiding stuff from us and we're family. What exactly? I mean, like... I don't I all sudden be like, Michael, tell us about your girlfriend. No, What's going on? I don't have a girlfriend. I'm just saying that... Are you, are you trying to keep it on the DL? No, that's not it either. I'm just saying... <laughs> All I'm saying is, if he says that about you, then he either thinks of you that way, or is game to thinking of you that way. So, take the initiative if you're interested, and if not, run for the hills. Yeah. So I can tell you, get a restraining order right now. Just cut through the chase. So anyway, moving forward from the dating situation, yeah. uh, you got our opinion on that. 
but also guys on the simple fact that we'll be giving you guys Battlefield 1 codes. How we're going to be giving them, you guys need to tune in for next Friday when we do our special stream. We'll be doing Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yep. Wow, we got, we got a long stream week for uh, Cyber, Cyber Gear. But we will also be hosting, guys, a special party here. So if you guys are located in Southern California and would yep. like to attend our party, you go to our event page, R3P, you guys can be part of the action. We will all be there. So, yeah. well, you said we're streaming from the... Yeah, and yeah, I, we're I'll be in a costume. I will be as well. Uh, I'm working so. my butt off trying to get my costume ready. I uh, don't know if it's going to be ready. God gave me my try. costume from birth, so I'm good to go, you know. And that's what I'm going to be doing. We'll be playing. We'll be we'll be interacting with you guys like we usually do. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing any Battlefield 1 during the stream. Uh, we could. Possibly. I think we might want... We, we might have, be doing, I mean, we it's might a have party. To... Lots of things are going to be happening. You yeah. Know? yeah. I might take a break and go hit the dance floor for a bit and then come back. We'll see how that works. You know? Well, I mean, we're going We're going to be starting an hour before the party and then streaming over the hour till 8 o'clock because the party starts at 7 okay. and we're going to 8. So that's, that's what we're doing. So we're not streaming the whole party? No, no. We're okay. just we're going, we're going say, to partial I want, I want to get a little crazy, but I, but I can't do that on stream. I know. Well, to know. it's okay. the fact that they're going to be giving out free alcohol. Yeah. You know, well, and well, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that that's what I'm doing. I'm just going <laughs> to not say that that's not what I'm Wait, what? Huh? Doing, yeah. No, I'm, I'm doing I'm that. Up. I'm getting no, sauced. I'm not, I, I don't even care. I'm going to toss me more than I toss the salad. So anyway, moving forward, guys, I'm going to definitely tell you straight up, we got a lot of great things to go with you guys. But as we've seen today, it's been kind of a mini E3 with all the announcements. I mean, we've seen a lot of it. So let's just kind of break into the news and actually talk about a little view of the other things going on. So right now, guys, you know that the champion of Hearthstone is actually going on soon-ish, you know. It's not really now, but soonish. But anyway, to celebrate that, Blizzard has announced to you guys and all of us that basically they're going to be, give you a chance for you guys to actually get free packs. But it all comes with a new concept that they have going on where you can actually play Fantasy Hearthstone, or at least that's what I like to call it. Because what you guys can do is go to the website, you just click on it, and what you do is once you guys click on it, you guys can vote for your favorite top Hearthstone player. Now, by doing so, you guys will actually get packs. You'll get packs from it, from the new expansion from the Grand Tournament. And then after that, every time that somebody actually wins, or the person you pick that wins, gets you more packs. So basically choosing the right player or winning all the tournaments. Yeah, it's definitely like, it's Fantasy Hearthstone. It's Fantasy Hearthstone, straight up. You get the points. Uh, let's see what we got here. League of Legends semi-championships is happening like tomorrow or something. Yeah, yeah, no, those, those are definitely going on. And also with uh, the approach, with the patch of BlizzCon, uh, we actually also have things like uh, the Hearthstone Championship. <laughs> there you go. And then one of the best national region or the national uh, players of uh, Here's of the Storm are right above us. They're practicing. You know. <laughs> so guys, there's a lot of stuff going on out there during the approach of BlizzCon themselves. You know, we have a lot going on. Packs are packs. It's packs. Like P-A-C-K-S. You can get packs from the game itself. But, I mean, to me, that's actually a really great idea. Kind of a fantasy Hearthstone kind of thing going on. Yeah. I feel like on Twitch it's going to really blow up. Someone just saw boobs. <laughs> what? He's talking about the guys from upstairs. Oh. Oh. I was like, oh, where did I miss them? I was like, they are not exposed right now. No one meant you. Yeah. Well, I'm the only thing with boobs around here. At least You're not I thought. a thing. I know. Uh, was it Soldier V? You will see me at BlizzCon, but I won't be able to go into BlizzCon because, unfortunately, we didn't get any invites. I may get my connections to get me in and stuff like that. But, uh, if anything, you will definitely see me at the New Egg Party, Soldier, and we'll definitely hang out, me, you, and Jaded. Wait, New Egg Party? A party? Yeah, New Egg throws a party, uh, every year at BlizzCon. I didn't know that. Okay. You can RSVP for that during BlizzCon. I might have to listen to that. You can get down. Do, do we want to crash it? I'm, I'm game to crash it. They, they had they had a farthest movement there one now. Just playing for free. Yeah, I'm definitely going to crash that. Yeah, no, I, I would... You know who I would really like to see at BlizzCon? Ch what was it? Childish Gambino. I mean, I rock with his music, so I'd be about it. And Atlanta is a really good show, so... Really? You'll It'll give me there. your pass? Oh, there's no new egg party this year? Oh, come boss. on. See what I'm well, no motivation now for me. I mean, Soldier, yeah, if you want to do that, I'm totally down to doing that because I'd actually like to attend and just check it out. Anyway, okay, so moving forward, because <laughs> we're talking about things we shouldn't be talking about on here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so moving forward, besides on the Hearthstone, you guys can actually go to the website, 
register right now, get your packs, and then when the season starts for you guys to actually win them, you can do so. But I myself have been uh, playing a little bit hard zone, so I thought that'd be kind of an interesting thing. Uh, Are you? Hold on, hold on, on wait. All right. That anyway, was not as impressive as it should have been. I know it was. It was very box. underwhelming. It was very underwhelming. I thought it was gonna be louder. You, you let me down, man. I know. I know. So you're in the burps. Well, no. He made it like a deliberate pause, and he was gonna he like did make let it, it dramatic. go. Yeah, you made, he made it dramatic. I know. I thought it was gonna be good. Down. It felt like it was building up, and I was like, ah, hold on, calling of the gods, and it just didn't work out. No. Anyway, <laughs> so with that, guys, uh, you should definitely go down there and check it out. Uh, wild card, uh, the packs will actually be of the Grand Tournament. Uh, it's a new, uh, expansion that they'll be having. Uh, kind of going over the new one that they have. That burp was weak. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, um, Droid and Sandy, I'm sorry. Oh, that's my homie Droid for us, letting you know. So. Yep, yep. And so, you know, on top of that, guys, we get to see that. And, you know, minus one point. Oh, my God, I went negative. My burp went negative. How is that possible on this? Weak. Pretty weak. It, I'm mine. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was pretty weak. Anyway, so with that, guys, uh, we're also looking at other great stuff. I mean, the fact that they delayed the Star Trek VR experience, that's sad, actually, because yeah. that's one of the few um, VR um, titles I was looking forward to that's coming from the West. Really? That was one of the few VR titles? That from the West. Oh, from the West. All yeah. the ones I'm looking forward to coming from, you know, at least we know about that. We're not going to delve into that. So. But yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, do we have any... Are you guys Star Trek I'm a Star Trek. Star, yeah. You're a Star Trek? I, I'm not a Star Trek, you know, big fan or anything like that, but I You're more of a Star Wars person, aren't you? I'm not a Star anything person. Really? No. Lord of the Rings? No. Mad Max? I'm done with Mad Max. Okay. I don't, See, I don't like her anymore. So why, why don't you like her? Because she doesn't she isn't like Lord of the Rings or Star Trek. I can't trust her. Now, okay, Lord of the Rings was way too freaking all right, slow no, we're not and this. moving. No, no, we're okay, not, we're, we're, we're bored not, the crap out of me. Don't let her break and my heart, And it went please. way too Duncan, slow. You're my friend. Why are you letting her Amber, break my heart? Amber, Amber, as much as I would love to see this debate, let's not do this. Thank let's you. not do this. Thank you. Even though they could have ridden the eagle all the way to the end. You they shut up your face. You shut it. That is blasphemy. <laughs> It's, no. It's just the apparent flaw no. in the story. No, that is not a... How? They couldn't have... Do you not, You think that the, the, the gates of Mordor will just let people fly in all willy-nilly without distraction? Can I... Well, let's... Let no, I'm not... Can you I guys, at least get some points back by saying that one of my favorites was actually Dune? Kinda. Kinda. No, Alright. Yeah, I still don't trust him. <laughs> Board of the Rings, the Snore Towers. <laughs> Ban him. I want to ban <laughs> your ban. No, him. no, stop, Michael. Put your phone down. No, no. Return of the sea. <laughs> I'm sorry. They were they they made for great titles, but unfair. I do like Lord of the Rings. I'm not gonna lie. I do watch the series and I enjoy it. I even want see my first movie as a kid was actually watching if it makes you feel better. Okay. The reason why I love Lord of the Rings was uh, it was actually uh, was it the first one, The Hobbit. Well, it was the cartoon series. The animated one. The animated cartoon. I actually liked that one, too. I really loved that. Liked that was that, that was what really moved me as a kid, so I was really excited about I preferred the animated Hobbit to the, the live-action Hobbit we just got. That was not a very good film. Yeah, it just it didn't feel like Hobbit-ish. It no, just it felt man. like... They just threw the source material out the window and added new characters. It was just bad. Yeah, it, it just it, it didn't feel like it really rolled with that point. She wouldn't know anything about that. Anyway, so, yeah. Basically, what happens is Ubisoft is telling everybody... That, uh, well, they're pushing it back to uh, March 14, 2017. Uh, they wanted to decide on the fact that they wanted to really develop the game a little bit more. So it yeah. felt like a very Star Trek game. Sorry, side note. Why is everything getting pushed back or coming out in March next year? I think it's due to publishers. Okay. Publishers are like... Because it seems like that, it's like March 17th is like jam-packed already with a bunch of console, uh, with a console and a bunch of games coming out. So it's like, why would you... I would figure you're going to avoid that date, but more and more games are slipping to that time frame. It seems like it's going to hurt them. It could. It could, it could possibly hurt them, but you never know. Like, see, when they push certain things back, uh, it's, 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 it could be for the better or for the worse. We don't know exactly. But, you know, uh, it's one of those things where you actually end up uh, seeing in the end. You know, like No Man's Sky kept getting pushed back, and we were all like, oh, my God, it's just going to get better. It's going to get better. And then they gave us that game, you know. Uh, so it's, you know, or yeah, they were like Wildcard said, behind on development. That definitely does happen. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, oh, I like the Lord of the Rings too, until I saw the entire trilogy extended edition. 
I think I have to give him credit on that. Extended is a little bit too much. No, time. it's not. Extended is perfect. You think it's perfect? It's perfect. In one sitting? Yeah. I do it all the time. Do you do it all the time? Yeah. Wow. That's, that's... I'm a man of patience. If something is quality, I enjoy it thoroughly. Okay. You know, you guys are all just breaking my heart. I don't want to do this anymore. So all right. Not talk. I know to not talk about things I like with any of you. Oh, stop. Oh, yeah. stop. Yeah. I like you. I don't know if I like you anymore. That's what you said earlier. Post you want to rub your back? No. What? Oh, that I am not that easy to appease, sir. Okay. You want me to get Chinese food and over snacks? We can watch together. Yes. So That's yeah. All right, we're all the way back to that, guys. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so with that said, guys, moving forward, uh, we also saw a lot of great stuff. That was the last time I saw Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> all right, soldier, don't beat up on him. Don't be mean. Anyway, so guys. Let's really get to the nitty gritty of what everybody is going ape shit about. Yep. Uh, was it? Is this the Taco Discussion Club? <laughs> yes, the Meritorial Lion. This is the Taco Discussion Club. <laughs> Where the Taco Discussion? How you doing, Lion? Oh, so no. <laughs> one of her. You were like one of her viewers. One of her, I'm like Taco. All right, guys. So bear with us in this moment. We got to get one thing up and set for you guys. So hold on. We're, we're, we, we got a new layout, so we have to try to do this out. But anyway, guys, we want to show you what everybody's been checking, going completely. This is the first thing everybody's... It's kind of been an underwhelming kind of release, but let's see if we got it here. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to add one more thing here. Oh. And also, I'll do something weird in the background while we're waiting. As I can. I was Also, hold on, guys. So it's no worth. No, no, no. Nobody saw that. Oh. Nobody saw that, or nobody heard it. So sorry, guys. Oh no. Give us a Duncan black, blank screen. Black screen was that screen? Nice. Looks like Duncan failed to Nintendo Switch right there, huh? Oh, oh. come on. I'm trying. Guys, yeah. give us a second, real quick. We're gonna try to switch over, and we're gonna try to show you guys something. So hold on. Yeah. It's the future, okay? <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, all right, all right, guys. All right. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. So we got, we, we got this, guys. So check it out. This is... So now that we've worked it out, guys. Sorry, we forgot about this part of it. So uh, we're going to put this up here, guys. So check it out. This is what everyone's been going crazy about. See, like, it's, it's really messing with me. Like, see, it looked like it stuttered right there. Like, do you see how slow it looks like it's going? Alright. I like that. Alright. Nice. You can take it, you can take it somewhere. Picked up a chick at an airport video game. That's pretty yeah, cool. I don't know. Right. Oh! I don't know. I don't know. 
Ana. See now, here's another thing: is do you think they'll take this to PC? Yeah, so the whole thing. I know. <laughs> I know. Like, when did that ever happen? You know what? What I like about that, though, being able to put that up and have like two controllers or whatever, you then have the ability to like do meetups and stuff like that, and then have gaming at like a meetup or something. Like, imagine taking that to like a, a con. And See but, see, but I don't know why this chick would be like, oh, there's a party across the room. Let me bring Mario over there. You know people are going to be stealing this shit right oh, off the bat. God, yeah. Hey, look, guys. We're going to play hockey, and then we're going to play... Oh, oh they're trying to show that this... Oh, this is for eSports. E eSports on the Switch. See, I don't get this part of it, though. Is this a real team that plays Splatoon like this? Uh, it might be a team. Really? Yeah, they like a million dollars. That is so crazy. They both might be. They both might be. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Nintendo Switch. My birthday! It comes out my birthday! The entire month? Yeah! The entire month of March is your birthday? Shut up, don't ruin this for me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I want to feel special for once in my life, it's Michael. Too long and you're ruining it! It's not. This is long. <sighs> Thanks, Michael. No problem. I can't enjoy something when I'm on flights, alright? Thanks. You can. You can. Yeah, it's called a DS. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was about to say. Nintendo, <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. <laughs> uh, so, uh, guys. So we, 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 the reason we usually do this kind of stuff about PCs and VR and stuff going on with it, but this is also another branch to where we thought also that there could be possibilities going on with it. Uh, one of the biggest possibilities was uh, how do we know that the Switch does not also now use like a PC to actually allow you to stream itself? You know, like what oh, happens when it's on the go? Yeah, because here's the other thing too is I mean, like you look at Xbox. And, you, and they're going to uh, use streaming for their consoles onto it. Yeah. PlayStation is doing the same thing. Maybe this is Nintendo's smart move to making it compact for the everyday use. Because think about yeah. it. We all love the Nintendo, uh, what is it, DS. Yeah. The passings, you get to take it with you everywhere. It's it's a pretty legit, like, thing, you know? But the main selling point of the DS isn't so much the portability and hardware as much as the gaming experience you get on it. Like the DS is a DS, and before that, the Game Boy were a completely different gaming experience yeah. than you had at home. Yeah. So it wasn't just for these, oh, I can play these games at, on the go. We, Sony tried doing that twice on two consoles, making yeah. games that were the same way on the road at home. People don't want to play games like that. Yeah. They want mobile experiences. I, and I'm worried that, in part, you're going to, Nintendo's losing out on that with this because they're just literally saying, you can play the game you're playing at home on the road instead of thinking, we're gonna make games specifically for that, you know, that hardware, that that um, that gaming interaction, that limited time and stuff like that. Also, from what I'm seeing and the rumors of the specs and stuff, it literally looks like it's just a gaming tablet first that can be blown up on a bigger screen it's and in, not a console that's portable. Yeah, and that's and that's a concern there. Uh, real quick to answer your time, Clef Gaming. Uh, before we go on to my answer, uh, we started about uh, what? We start usually 15 minutes. Uh, after six o'clock, so yeah. Yeah. we've been going for thirty minutes. About yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, we got some more time, guys, and we got some other stuff going on today. Uh, and Red Five, I'm gonna read George real quick before I answer it. What I got from this is this plays like Mission Impossible heist. Just when you think Tom Cruise's stump, his gadget does one more weird trick to save the day. 
Dog needs to go outside, no problem. Just take apart your modular controller and snap the pieces on the sides of the switch screen. Your friends haven't seen you in weeks, even though you live on the rooftop directly opposite from Brooklyn. Lop, no problem. Just carry your switch in one hand while you give out side hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to put it in my hands in Nintendo X. Yeah, it, well, it's called the Switch, not the NX. But, so... That's another thing. The, the, the NX is such a cooler name than the Switch. I know. Switch was like a weird... Maybe that's what they were doing, was just trying to call it, like, like co-name it NX. So nobody knew what the real name was or I mean, leaked I that. I that's what they were doing. Plus, I don't think Nintendo knows that Switch means something entirely different in some other hemispheres. You know yeah. what I'm talking yeah. about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Like, yeah. Nintendo is definitely but becoming a Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, you know. But you know, at the same time, I can kind of see the with the reason for the naming because it's a uh, more user friendly. People are, people are gonna understand something changes about the system. That's what usually switch means. It means it's switching or doing something different. Like it can do two different things. So it's a good in the way of naming it because the general populace is not gonna delve too into it that much. So it yeah. gets the, the idea across. What I do find really interesting, though, is that, and that I like that it actually works the way that it was shown in the release trailer there, that it'd be fun to take and actually, you know, go over and bring back some more of that group gaming type of aspect instead of always locked inside and stuff like that. Because that was the one thing that I always, like, remember with Nintendo. It was always... You were playing on like your N64 or something, and you had all your friends from around the neighborhood, and you all sat around on Nintendo. Yeah. And that doesn't really happen so much anymore. Those good old days of the 64, playing uh, some Goldeneye. Uh, Back in the heyday of gaming, if you ever yep. Perfect I, Dark. I sound like an old man right now. But I know. <laughs> it's, it, was, it was a lot of good things of interaction. These kids yeah. today don't know how well they got it. Speaking of kids, though, did you notice that there was no children at all in that ad? No, yeah. that's a that's very different approach. That's, that's not realistic at all for a Nintendo console. Like, you know yeah. what your primary buying market is. Yeah. Why would you just not so... Like, they only had one woman own a console and no kids. We mm -hmm. know who's really buying this. Yeah. Nintendo. They had like, two why? women. The girl in the airport and the girl on the rooftop. Does she have her own controller? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they had two women that apparently owned... Well, yeah, system. but they were young, vibrant women yeah, in their right. early ages. They, it was clearly just stating that they didn't... They weren't aiming for an old like for the moms and dads of the yeah. kids, even though they'll still buy it. They're aiming for us, like the mid generation and everything like that. Sorry. That's before we had broadband and pizza rolls <laughs> ready to rumble. <laughs> Droid. Yeah, he's right though. That's true. It's very true. Yeah, that's true. So and and the thing is is that it's very true. Yeah, see, they're trying to target the thirties market. Yeah. Exactly. You know, right. we're vibrant, we're single people. Well, I'm not uh, But I mean that's you're the thing, single though. people. They're trying to uh, target a market that's not for, that's not for them. Like when, even when I looked at that system, I'm like, that's not for people my age. Because people my age want what we're getting from um, Microsoft and Nintendo, and want yeah. more of what they're seeing in PC gaming. Which see, is but why so many people see, but they're they're, they're they're appealing. They're trying to appeal more to. And I'm sorry, this sounds really bad, but more of the hipsterish people, because those are the people who <laughs> mostly play Nintendo. Yeah, I can see that. Because they're like, I want to play Mario Maker. Yeah. I don't want, I love Mario. I remember equals old Mario. Nostalgia and yeah. Hitting the nostalgia market. Maybe just like them showing cats on a basketball court stop playing real basketball. Play video basketball on a basketball court. It's like who are you selling this to? Because no one's doing that. that also, was a transition no one story is buying, there. and I'm telling you this now. You can quote no one's going to buy the end, the, the Nintendo yeah. Switch to play sports games. No, 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 I no see that not at all. Like, it, like historically, the system has been the worst place to get like s simulation sports games. I'm not knocking them for showing that. It's just more of a like I'm confused if maybe Nintendo is either a literally trying to shed its past image of who it was appealing to, or b might not know who it appeals to anymore. Well, I think that's the thing is that with its market, it's like they hit a huge success with the Wii, uh -huh. and then the Wii U came out, and then the game development wasn't as big. Because they, they weren't making it more open base, so now now they were like seeing a big success with the DS. It was compatible; you could take it to go. I own a DS. I went out and got the new DS because I wanted to play Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, and I really enjoyed it a lot. And like, but my thing is, is that it just it didn't have that like I could take Nintendo Wii with me anywhere, and, and there wasn't a lot of games really making me want to buy it. Yeah. So I didn't want to buy the. But now with the Switch, yeah. that may be different. Where it's like I may not even want to get a DS anymore and just play with that. But wouldn't that be a loss for Nintendo too, considering the DS is what's been making money for them? Yeah, but if you're you're, you're putting uh, them together, 
That's what I'm saying because I mean I personally think what they realize is that publishers and developers jumped and just threw money at them to make games for the uh, for the DS, mm -hmm. but they were super hesitant to do that for the Wii U. So what they're doing, I, I think what they're doing is by combining both, going to developers and saying, yeah, you can make money for our handhelds that we do well with, but you also have to make it support the home console because they couldn't figure out how to do that for two generations now. Oh, and with true. this, they kind of locked them in. Like you can't just make money. You can't make a game for the Switch that only works on the go now. It has to work yeah. at home. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's smart in that regard. And I understand yeah. from a business side, I understand why they would do that. And I agree with them on that actually. But for me, when I'm like, because I am a Nintendo fan, I, or I, I don't know if I, after seeing this, I don't know if I am anymore. Like, I love their games. And I want a home Nintendo console where I can get the Nintendo experience. I just want it on stronger hardware so that A, it has longevity, and B, we can see that Nintendo ingenuity that we and creativity that we see when they make their Zeldas and whatnot, make them always look beautiful and innovative. We yeah. can see them do even more. Yeah. yeah. I don't see that when I see the Switch. I see, well, that hardware is going to be outdated as soon as it launches. Like, I'm not wow. Well, see, that's the thing is, I think what they were doing is they were pushing, like, that is just a tip of it, and the updates will come along with it. Like, updates. I don't think the hardware is going to be. Updates, oh, like, updates, the, like the, I think they'll update it before the final launch. Like, gotcha, gotcha. They yeah. still got a while to go. I mean, like it's only October, so they got five more months before the official launch. That's not a lot of time for console development, is it? Well, I mean, if they're already finalizing the announcement now, I'm pretty sure they're just polishing specs or seeing what else they can fit if they need to. I mean, they it's not hard to say, hey, we're using this chipset, but it, it's also upgradable to that chipset. Or maybe it's going to go for a year or two, and then they say, oh, guess what? We now have a new update this week. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You think they're going to yeah. go a modular approach where it's like three years in, there's a new Switch, like the Switch up or something? Well, see, the thing is, I don't think they lose Copyright, any... Nintendo. Don't don't you steal that from me. <laughs> the Switch up. The Switch up. Yeah, that, that is a good one. Uh, so it says right here, uh, and look at how the things are going for Nintendo. We'll still be a decade behind, and Sony is merging with PC more and more. And Xbox with Xbox on it. This is true, and that's where we're we're we're, yeah. we're looking at. In the end, Nintendo was it knows that they are not going to compete with Sony and Xbox, the traditional, and make sure that this home and offer quality Nintendo games that it cannot really create on the DS. It's true. It would be awesome to have access to online gaming through Switch, no matter what. You've got. Yep, yep, it's all yeah. right there. Exactly. And guys, are all making good points for that. Exactly, I agree with everything they're saying. So we definitely see that this might be something to watch out for. I mean, I'm getting it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna. T I'm just. I'm. I'm telling you straight up. The reason why I'm getting it is I love Zelda, and the new Zelda game came out. I freak out a little bit over Zelda. Okay. Oh, I thought. So. I, okay. No, we're all Zelda fans. If oh, you did not God. watch one of the episodes, he was wearing the hat. I had a shirt. We're all Zelda fans here. Yeah. But the new Zelda game, holy, but Jesus, that game is solid on every. That was the demo I played, and I loved it. It's. It's like an open world, it's it's Zelda meets Ark, and yet you adventure and you don't have to be told what to do. It just says, you know, you might want to move that tree over there. It's just like simple hints here and there, yeah. but you really get to go back and explore and build and make. And I'm just like, yeah. Zelda, I love you. Oh. Welcome back. Oh my like, God, yeah. not all this bullshit of Wind Waker and all that other stuff Thank they put you. out there and all that other garbage games. I'm sorry, Zelda died for me. On the Super Nintendo, and that was it. And I don't even see. Can, you said 64 Zelda was good. You're a retard. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna straight up say this. I mean this. Reason why? Oh, you know what? I just thought of what I just said. No, that's not. Oh, wait, no. I'm just more. I'm just more shocked at the fact that you are calling the N64 Zelda's bad. And Ocarina of Time it, is regarded by many people. And I don't agree with them. I still. I'm gonna to show you past. after this. I'm gonna show you something that can. Link to the, no, Link to the Past is my favorite Zelda. But even in with that, even though I think Ocarina of Time is already solid, and I love Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is the most mature Zelda game ever made. See, I see. That's the thing. Is to me, they had good concepts. The problem is, is during an era when we were trying to figure out things, mm -hmm. it was bad. It was bad. Like first of all, when you're hitting like bats, like it. May, I know video games didn't make sense in like you know Zelda when it was like top down, but there was at least an X and Y Z axe when you were playing it. But it, the fact that everybody made Majora's Mask to be one of the greatest games ever. And it was. It had too many flaws. I, too many issues. Ocarina and of no, Time was the best one. I'm First sorry. off, no. Yes. Second of, no, we will yes. fight later. All right. Secondly. Fine, let's get down with it. Secondly, 
Gary, you want a mud pit? Say, no. We can do it in mud? No, I'm not. What's wrong? I agree with you, Clef. Kid Icarus. No. I haven't what, seen that game in a while. What I'm saying with Zelda is, like, no game is going to, all games are going to have flaws, especially when you look at um, the methodology used to create games, the fact that the N64 was, like, the first system for Nintendo that really dealt with 3D, um, with 3D gaming. And um, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask were the first entries in, for Zelda into genuine 3D gaming. So, yeah, it's not going to be flawless. I mean, if you look at the original Zelda games that were first made in 2D, they haven't aged well either. Still, People still love Zelda 2. That game, have you played Zelda 2 recently? Have you Horrible. Seen how, yeah. Horrible. But it's because they remember how it plays and they focus it's on the story. Yeah. Well, here, here, let me make it this way. Okay. Let's remember this, kids, and I'll make my point this way. Link to the past is the best Zelda. Know your place, woman. It is the best. Ocarina of Time. No. Anyway, all right. All right. Stop. Stop. Anyway. So, let's leave it down. Maybe Kingdom Hearts 3 will come to, was it, to the Switch. That might be a good one, Birdie PvP. That and I might happen. I, that might be an interesting one, and I'd like to see that happen. Mm. That'd be a great just step in direction for Nintendo. So, let me see this. What makes a good Zelda game? Let's ask that. Depends and, on Zelda. For me, it's immersion and story. So, what Zelda made so great from the very first Zelda? Oh, thank you so much for that follow, and welcome. I can't see who followed. Yeah. Thank you so much, mm. Birdie PVP. We do appreciate that follow. Uh, Pink haired Link is the best Link. So let me put it this way. What makes Zelda so great to everybody out there and so nostalgic is the fact is in the first Zelda from Nintendo, it is a open range roaming game where you as the explorer get to go around and have fun. Uh, the second Zelda didn't do that as much. It had the exploration, but it wasn't as free range as the first one. No. That's why when we moved to the next one, which was? Link to the Past. With Link to the Past, we gave it an X and Y axis. Oh, thank you so much for that follow, Sol <laughs> Soldier. Thank you for that follow. So, what makes it so great is that we give it an X and Y, and we allow them to go up and down, but it still keeps the open world. But yet, it doesn't keep the open world. To where it's misguided to the sense where you now get told that you have to go do things in an open world, when it's basically like saying you go to a sandbox and you're told to only make poopy casts. Now, if you guys remember those quotes, those actually came from Ego Raptor from uh, the Game oh, Grumps right, right. because they looked at it in uh, Sequinetta's, and I agreed with his uh, opinion on the simple fact is that it is true. A great Zelda game is where you got to free roam and adventure and have fun because it's an adventure, not a guided tour. And that's the problem with all the Zelda games is they became guided tours. And the same thing happened later in the series when they made the Nintendo 64 that it wasn't any more about an adventure because you couldn't go freely roaming, you were just directed of what to do. And that's why we need to step back, look at it analytically, and realize that wasn't a great game. But that, even what you just said, you can't definitively say what makes Zelda great and those yeah. are the parameters. Exactly. Because what makes Zelda great tends to be different for you to talk to. I know people who like Zelda because of the story. There's, people don't realize that there's an actual timeline to the Zelda series, the game, the oh, way yeah. the games create a very correct, um, the way the games connect is done very creative, um, creatively. Like there's people who uh, think that the shade from Twilight Princess is actually one of the links that died in all timeline because he fights mm -hmm. exactly like Link. Yeah, that's uh, for a lot of people that connectivity, that lore, that lures them in. For me, yeah. it was the lore and it was the combat. I love the action because it's not just an adventure game. You're not just walking around and seeing the sights. Yeah. You're doing battle. Like Link is a yeah. warrior. Yeah. I love the combat. I like the I love the action adventure part. I like yeah. everything about it. So for me, when I look at Majora's Mask, a game like that where this is a game that theoretically could be dealing with the fact that Link is having to come to terms with himself dying. It's a eulogy for death. That's mm. never been done in a Nintendo game, let alone mm. Zelda. Like that's deep to me. And even after that, like, yeah, there's been Zelda games that were a little bit grittier and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But Majora's Mask was the most adult Zelda game I've ever played. Like, even now when I go back and play it, I'm like, wow, this is really, really heavy. And they did it in such a creative way where kids playing it aren't going to grasp that stuff. You have to be older yeah. to get that. Yeah. It's one of those layered games where, yeah, it could be a game. They plan for enjoy. us to grow up in the future. They plan for you to grow up and learn more and go back and say, Holy oh, crap. All yeah. the, the stages of death in the second, all of that's oh, mm -hmm. no other game, Zelda game has that. I feel like we need to make a YouTube session of this because this is actually going very deep. Uh, oh, there's yeah. people <laughs> we can go very deep. I know, I know. Zelda. It's Zelda is just going into that part. Well, I will agree. All right, Twilight Princess was a redeeming factor. 
I really did enjoy I liked that. Twilight Princess, and that gets. I just I felt like Ocarina's like when I played it as a kid, it was really good. But now, when when I'm I look at it, defend Ocarina's time. I think that's the most overrated Zelda game of all time. So we agree with you. On, I agree with you on that. Oh, oh thank you for that, host Double Dorian. We do appreciate it. <laughs> but me and you agree, Ocarina of Time overrated. It's Majora's Mask. Oh, oh Majora's Mask. Mask. Okay, Majora's yeah. Mask was the development of where yeah. it should have gone. Yeah. And okay. then we got linked to we got linked to the past, which is like the pinnacle if you ask me of Zelda. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Gotta hold that, huh, Amber? Yeah. No L in Amber, but there's one today, huh? Your name is Lamber today in this episode. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh wow, okay. So moving on so these two don't go at each other's throats. Uh we also saw guys another kind of cool thing that came out this week was actually uh, and, and this was uh, for uh, Watch Dogs. Uh, I know a lot of people aren't that super excited about Watch Dogs, but we'll take a look at it anyway, guys. So a new trailer account for Watch Dogs is that if you buy Watch Dogs 2, which it seems to be at this point, Watch Dogs is really struggling uh, to get people to be hyped about it because I think everyone's just kind of like whatever about it, which is kind of sad. Yeah. yeah. But then Watch Dogs had a good premise this first one. The second one, everyone's kind of like... Mm. See, this was, yeah, and I agree with you on that. Like, the premises wasn't bad. It was just the execution. And then the way the second one's looking, it's like, no one cares. And it looks no. like they actually addressed a lot of the issues of the first one. Yeah, I agree. So let's take a look at the new was it content they're trying to show everybody right now. As uh, was it, you get what's called with the pre-order bonus, the Zodiac Killer mission. So let's check that out. Available November 15, 2016. Pre-order? It was all hype until they showed pre-order bonus content. I'm like, yep. Yeah, and see. Consumer, I hate that crap. See, I hate that with, like, if that's what you really need to sell your game. Like, I like the idea that the Zodiac Killer is in that. And I'm like, okay, that seems pretty interesting as a, as, as a thing. But at that point, I'm just kind of like, what is this? Amber to Queen. Ambler. <laughs> and Game Theory is off. Awesome. Watch Dogs. I'm a strong, independent gamer. I'm not going to go back to pre-order abusive graphics beater you saw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. That was good. Uh, I actually go back to Ubisoft for the abuse sometimes. Like, it's a very S&M relationship between me and Ubisoft. Like, everybody tries to, like, stand up for me. Like, when I sat there, and I, and I was with some officials, and I thought it was kind of funny at one point, was that they were talking... And they were like, I, I went to him, I go like, so how do you guys feel the fact that you released Assassin's Creed, mm -hmm. uh, the new one, and I think it was the French one at the time, I think it was like, that was four? Unity? Yeah, Unity. Yeah, Unity. I said there were so many issues. Yeah, that game was broken. But you guys, uh, you guys, like, I go, you guys didn't really do much about it, you just released it, and then you, you ran an embargo on it and stopped it. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, all they did was they were just like, we have no problem. He's like, to be honest, he's like, uh, it's been a great selling year. We've done great, and, uh... You know we're gonna keep going, and I was like, it was over that question. I know they were just like they were just like <laughs> we're done. But the thing they did offer, and the great thing, and I, I respect Ubisoft about this, is that they said we did try to make it up by offering free down was it DLC they and did. like helping out. They did. You know, and I and I give that to Ubisoft. You know. Oh, another host. Oh, thank you. I play the world. Thank you for that host so much. Coming, thank man. you so much. Guys, we're on fire tonight. Anyway, so I thought that was cool that Ubisoft was willing to do that. I was like, okay. You know, it's it's one of the things that I think is kind of interesting. Yeah. But I think at the same time too, you go like, yeah, but why did you release the game? It's like Mafia Three. Like, it looks like you didn't oh, even do Q and A on that. Thing. Mafia Three. Yeah. The fact that people could find like seven minutes worth of just bad programming, I was like, and man. Like they had to search for it either. They were just playing the game the normal way. <laughs> like like oh, they hyped it up so much. The last so honest release of Ubisoft, in my opinion, was. They went bonkers and released uh, eight Beyond Good and Evil, Prince of Persia, 
and another game with a week span. Yeah, yeah. What up, Brock Games? What's How's it going? What's up, Brock? How you doing, man? So, I don't know. I'm going to give Watch Dogs to a try. I am. Even though I said I wasn't really... I'm, like, I'm not super amped for it or anything like that, but just because I felt that Watch Dogs 1 got a lot of undeserved hate. Like, it was a flawed game, but the premise is really cool. And being someone from Chicago, I love how they portrayed Chicago in the game. They did a really good job. And that's very that's an aspect that people don't give them enough props for. So I agree, I agree. And that's so what they do with San Francisco. So. Smoke break. <laughs> so and on top of that, guys, talking of mistakes and failures. Uh oh. Uh, so it seems that after what we talked about last time about the Samsung Galaxy oh, yeah. uh, being used because it was actually bomb, it seems that Samsung has put out a nice restraining order against all people and pulling down or DCMA report as we all like to say. And pulling down all the YouTube videos of people playing GTA with <laughs> modded Samsung 7s being used as bombs. Uh, there was no official statement that we could find to, you know, regarding the situation, but there definitely was a lot of people who were upset for the fact that even though Samsung may have made a mistake, they took it a little bit too far by taking down people's videos because, oh, come on, you were in Grand Theft Auto. It's your phone. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what's the legality behind that where, like, what crime is being committed by people doing it? You know what? It's more probably, um, uh, what do they call it when, uh, slander. More like slander against the company for a Because they could product. be trying to sell it to a third yeah. world country and but make their money off it. But that's 100% that's true, though. That those things yeah, are but it's, it's an attempt to, attempt to like, save the brand name of, like, Samsung, you know, Galaxy Note. Because if they try to produce another Note for next year, people are still... At this point, they're going to remember the 7 no matter what yeah, happens. Yeah. But... I mean, that phone literally it, blew up, so... Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it literally blew up. Yeah. And so it, it, it's one of those things that it's just like... It's like the same thing with, like, Harambe. Them saying, don't do any more Harambe memes. I saw a new one where it was, like, booty out for Harambe. Yeah, exactly. Just it's, it's the same chicks. thing. Like, the more and you try I'm to stop something, that, so. yeah. the more it's going to bring yeah. up... Harambe, Harambe, so, we remember you. Yeah, it, so you know what? That, now that I think about it too, that might also be a play for Samsung because they're hurting so bad from the Galaxy Sevens blowing up that if they trigger down like these takedown things, it's still gonna the Samsung name, the name is still stays gonna in the, yeah, yeah, stays yeah. in the it news. It might be a ploy, and if so, very smart. Yeah. So maybe it's a flip flop. It could be one of yeah. two things. It could be a combination of both. It could be thing. a switch. All right, anyway, moving on past the bad jokes and bad phones. Uh, guys, we're going to move on to the one thing that everybody is so static about today okay. besides the Switch. This has gotten more hype than the Switch itself, <laughs> even though everybody wants to make sure that it's the Switch. Uh, I'm going to definitely say I think this was my favorite reveal today for our little mini E3 event that's been going on because basically there's been a lot of reveals going on. Okay. But I think, guys, this is what everybody's been excited about, and I'm excited about it because I'm looking forward to this definitely. So, guys, I don't even, I'm not, I'm not going to even say it. I'm just going to let you see it. So, get ready for this reveal. Kami of Gaming, I stand by Samsung, fist up. <laughs> hey, I like Samsung still. It's just, wow. they took an L on that one. <laughs> They're lamb song. Hey, you have something in common with them, Amber. I'm going to hate you. All right, so, let's look at this. That's pirating. That looks so good. Look at that contrast. Sorry. I think it might be in game, actually. That's impressive. Dude. That's damn. See, good. that looks like in game right there. Yeah. Oh, people say, what? To the Listen to me. The game. Here you go. <laughs> I think that was in game right there. Don't look back. It's like a cutscene, but damn. That's a cutscene. That's gotta be in game. Yeah, it looks like in game. Oh, this looks like it. It's the same to me, the same standard, the same quality. Oh! What I want to know is, people are saying this is supposed to be a prequel to the last game. Is that's that, that's is what there I'm, confirmation on that yet? Do we know? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. See, it's but prequel or anything. So, so I mean, I'm I'm really excited about this. I mean, it, it does crush me that they didn't say it was for PC. You know, uh, yeah, that's a big deal. I, I well, they didn't do. I don't think they did the original Red Dead Redemption on PC either. And this just wasn't sound crazy, but um, 
especially since I'm, I'm I'm playing more and more on PC. I mean, I play everything, but as, as a PC gamer, the people that are going online complaining about the game not getting a date, same time consoles do on PC, that's not how you get. That's not how you correct a mistake like that. You don't just complain online because everyone complains online. You have to speak with your wallets, and mm -hmm. you got to start supporting games that do release. On, on PC the same day as consoles or earlier. Start yeah. showing companies that that matters to PC gamers because according to Rockstar, they always release their games later on PC and you guys flock out in droves and buy it anyway. So why would they change anything? Like GTA yeah. 5 sold amazingly well on PC and it came out, what, a year later? And so then, and why would they change it if, it's, if it works for them? And not to mention all its modding community is one of the biggest communities out there. Yeah. So I start giving that same attention and support to games that address you as equals or superiors at least to consoles don't yeah. be an afterthought and yeah. this is something I, I play fighting games and on, on PC fighting games can work very well Street Fighter has shown that it works flawlessly it works better on a PC than PlayStation 4 but other companies are releasing their games way later on PC for no good reason that's got to stop so I mean I feel you being upset about that, but going on Twitter and complaining, that's not going to get anything done because everyone complains on Twitter. That's all it is, is just complaining. And it's very true, guys. A lot of people usually take to Twitter more than they actually take to anything else of showing them. Yeah. No, and console plebs are true, and that's one of the reasons why, guys, uh, us over at Cyber Gaming have been uh, really working towards uh, producing a unit. I mean, like, if you guys can look at our C, even Michael was like, I want this. Yeah, I want that. I it's, want that. That's me. It's, it's a great I unit. I want it too. And, and it works so much for the fact that it's a PC. It's like, that's where they're all going anyway. Might as well just start buying, kids. Stop playing those yeah. little games. Exactly. You know, you get so much out of it. And you can do your homework. And then, you know, mom and dad aren't around. Quick switches. Quick switches. Right. You just went, that's it. Well, I'm you just know. working, mom. I don't even know. No. You're, yeah, you're back not, to on the site you're not supposed to be, you can go to incognito mode and quickly lower it, minimize. You can't do that on console. It just stays there. Yeah, it is. It is. Are you teaching the kids bad habits? I'm not teaching the kids bad habits. Uh -huh. I'm just I'm giving. I'm giving them the benefits. We're teaching adults how to master uh, other adult exactly. activities of partners. Exactly. You don't think women know how to find that shit too? No. No. What? What if their partner is a man? Did well, you just I know. You I'm were sorry. just assuming I bisexual. I just totally assumed. That's why we just said partners. Mm -hmm. You exactly. really thought we were going to be that degrading towards women? Well, Thank I'm sorry, but me. well, there's also the thing too. If uh, the male partner. If you are in a male male or female and a female partnership, you don't yeah. think that the other person already knows? Not necessarily, no. No, no. There's no definitive way of proving it. There's always that one partner that somehow is a little bit sneakier You're than the other. to keep doubt. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's the that's the key. You keep doubt. If it can't be proved, mm. you, you, you're innocent. Basically how OJ said it, if the glove don't fit, you can't you, quit. You must acquit. Exactly. Mm. That's it. I mean. And then he also went and re uh, wrote a book called uh, What If I Did It. Did he actually what? write that book? <laughs> that is the most gangster thing I've heard today. <laughs> that happened? Yes. That Yo. happened. Okay, OJ is my... Well, no, I don't want to kill people. But yeah, o uh, not you that don't he did kill it. A not, that he, not that he did that. We don't... Allegedly. Nah, no, he was found innocent. He is not guilty. Okay. Well, yeah. anyway, <laughs> moving past that part. So I'm not going to ever get to date a white woman ever again after that. Uh, I just lost it. Cool. I know. You were literally just been, yeah. it was like the no-fly zone. You just put yourself onto that yeah, record chance, and you were done. Just like a, they were just, just like, like, oh, he's, he's very cute. And no, consoles are running 80s. Was it? Uh, let's see. Uh, zero plays games. Consoles are running 86 anyway. Next stop is the garbage can for them. Buy a PC. Gaming quality price point. Exactly. And that's what we're offering over at Cypher Gaming. Anyway, besides that sh shameless uh, plugging there. So, guys, today we are actually picking out a game from the PC genre. Uh, because, you know, we play PC games and consoles. But, you know, here we play PCs. So, let me show this to you guys. Uh, this is a game that we picked out. And I thought this was a really funny game. So, uh, let's see if we got it here. Uh, what? No. Joy brought up a good point where even if he... Double Jeopardy, he can legally make the book. So yeah. maybe he wrote the book saying, I didn't do it, but if I had, mm -hmm. still baller. I need to. OJ. Mm. It is baller status. Well, he's in prison, so I don't want to be like OJ, but I'm going to be kind of like OJ. You don't, you don't want to ever be like OJ. Yeah. You don't, but do want to be OJ, and I, I get that. You got the snow bunnies, you know? It, 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 I, I get it, and he murdered one of the snow bunnies. But I, we don't. Come eight. on, man. All right. All right. Hearthstone. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be my boy. I am your boy. I have... 
Anyway, moving forward, uh, we picked out a game that you guys <laughs> we thought would be entertaining uh, for tonight's gameplay. So we're going to go through this. Uh, guys, check it out. It's actually pretty funny. We, we were intrigued by it. I found this uh, digging through the deeps. So what I like to do every so often is dig through the depths of Steam to find games that are intriguing. And this is one of the games that I found that I thought you guys may like. And uh, will be our little gameplay. So check it out, guys. Are we going to actually do... We're, we're going to do it. Just hold on. Okay. So, I, I want to know what the stream is going to judge us for doing what the game says. You'll see what I'm talking about in a few seconds, stream. Oh, oh hold no on. No sound. No sound. Hold on. Sound. We need to start over. Sound. There we go. There we go. Two unlikely friends embark on an epic journey. One of them is Sam, a rich daddy's boy who's done nothing on his own before. Things just work out for me, baby. And the other one, Death, the Lord of Damnation. Yo, 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 I be the Grim Reaper. When Sam gets hit by a truck, he has to survive for 24 hours operating his bodily functions manually. Okay, and he I can learns relate that to that. being I manual, mean, you, you know. can relate to that. Yeah, I can. Come with a man. You're gonna have to explain that. I only do this. Yeah, exactly. But if you yeah, really but wanna I... live in this, you do know how messy you are. You have to make it in the living room. Man, man. Yeah, I thought you were saying that. You and then deny that you man didn't. Man, Samuel. Available at your closest internet soon. I uh, know this is not like QP. So anyway, guys, uh, for those uh, that didn't see that whole game, it is not a QP. It actually has a controller. So we're going to play it tonight for you guys so you guys can enjoy this. Uh, we have also set up a new camera setup for you guys to check out of us. Pretty pretty good. I'm pretty pretty excited about this. So, uh, Mike, if you do the honors, let's plug that in. And we're going to let... Oh, man, we made her play Battlefield. Yeah, we're making Amber play this, too. Why is it always because me? Because you can relate to the dude. I know you said you could relate so, doing what he yeah. did. Yeah, having a clean that shit I up. have a penis and I don't even do what he does. Only when I'm drunk. But that's about it. Bring, bring, bring. Mm. I'm lost. I'm going to ask your girlfriend to confirm that how many times she's had to probably clean up your piss off the side of the damn I don't know. toilet bowl. We're on the floor. And we're over here. Because. Uh, no, she's fighting for the right. And I understand. I don't want to fight. Yeah, it's it's all it's all right there. Mike is gonna play the game. Here, Mike, you come step up here. Right. Hold on, you gotta switch to the side. Everyone, switch. Uh, switch. Well, because you have to switch because he has to be in the middle. I have to be controlling, and you have to be on that side. So what are we making? I'm I'm the hamburger meat, and you guys are the buns that we're doing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Hold on, hold I on. I don't feel safe. It's alright. Oh no 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 no! This is not cool at all. What were your house? Stay in your house. I'm bigger than both of you. How are you my house? Perfect. Okay. <laughs> One your twins unites. <laughs> All right, let's get this game up and going. All right. Oh, we just fucked up. Uh-oh. We? Oh, hold on. I didn't do anything. All right, hold on. Got to deactivate the camera. Send your complaints to Duncan. Did you want me to press A or just wait? Hold on, I'll wait for it. Yeah, that's what I was waiting. Camera. All right, oh, there we go. Camera. I was like, what? Camera. I'm waiting for you to put it on the screen so I can oh. go sweaty and actually try hard in this game. Can I be that meat, please? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hold on. The studio button is on. Hit the studio button on OBS. Oh. What? Duncan, or Duncan. Droid is guru when it comes to this kind of stuff. He knows. Touche. Look at Droid giving people technical support. 
We're not trying. Thank you, Droid. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. He's Middle Eastern. So hey, he what do you blood. want something from El Pollo Loco? Uh, <laughs> I remember the South Villa. Uh, El Pollo Loco, what is that? I'll talk to you about it, babe. On the <laughs> What's that? That's my girlfriend. It's good. Oh, hello, Miss Duncan. Miss Duncan? I thought call Miss Duncan. I don't know what to call. I don't. Uh, what's, what is. What do I call her? Just Janet. Or she goes by Sleazy Egg. So I'm gonna call you Janet. Hello, Janet. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So, oh, there's co-op? What? How do we play co-op? Hold on, I gotta get another controller. Oh, man. That is not a long micro. Ask the front desk if they have one, a longer one, they might. Uh, Hold on, guys, here I go. Or you could. I probably should have told him there was a wireless dongle on that too, but... <laughs> there's wireless dongle. Oh, you remember, there you go. It's on the front, yeah. Yeah, it is. And it should be charged, so you'll be good to go. But be. you'll have to plug that into the back of the system because the front has the camera in it. Alright, I'll put it in the back. Phrasing. <laughs> Miss back. Duncan, yes. Yes, Miss Duncan. I didn't know what else to call you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so I will take the same that Duncan is having as well as a plane ticket to where y'all are. Where are you at right now, KG? State-wise or country-wise. I guess you could be out of the country. Here you go, Amber. Oh, shit. All right. Hold on. Will I find it? You're going to have me and her work together. You think that's going to end well? She hates my guts. She's gonna kill me the first thing she gets. Why does every man I meet always think I'm gonna kill them? The man, I don't know. Maybe it's sayings like that. Every man you meet wants to kill you. I mean, hey, chicks, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have just give us one. No one, one, no one thinks I. No, no chicks think I want to kill them. You know? Co-op seems like a better idea. Really? No, I'm a very gentle. Women know that I'm a. They, they see me and they see safety. I see you, and I'm like, yeah, she probably stabbed well, me in my sleep. On, uh, depends on uh, what part of the country you're in, though. I don't know. I've been with some chicks that were racist. We got along fine. That forbidden certain... meat I'm not... thing going on? I'm not saying that. I'm just <laughs> saying I've been with chicks that were racist, but we had an understanding. Uh, he's in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Oh, Montreal. That's what's up. French Canadian extraordinaire. I promise to bring poutine along. Yes! Bring me some poutine. I've been wanting to try some poutine. Do you not know what poutine is? Is it what I'm thinking right now? Mm, probably not, no. What is poutine, Duncan? What? Uh, it's like French something. fries. It's like, I don't know. That's what it explains. It's like French fries and gravy. And oh, it's like food. I was thinking it was like another chick. No, no, no. Oh, I was no. like... I mean, I'm not judging you if that was the case. Ember does have a bit of a killer bob. What? Thank you. What? Thank you. You seem like you abuse people physically with love from your mind, but for us it's painful. All right. So I think it's co-op, cool, and it should work now. Yep. You should be good. So if I just... Oh, uh, so leader? my controller is no longer lit up. I don't know what you just did. Oh, crap. Good stuff. Come on, you guys. It's like you've never played one of these things. Maybe she... Do you have to hit A? I'm hitting A. No, it's you. Who's leading? Oh, now, now this guy got confused. Uh oh. Hold on, Ember, are you serious? Mm -mm, I ain't got no. Oh, wait. Huh? What? Oh. Uh? Oh, wait. Uh. Yes. Uh. I'm gonna have to do that at the mount. So. Oh, you notice that guide? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You just brought up the Windows guide. Oh. You Balls. Can just, you can just close that. Just hit X. It'll go away. And then. Uh, perfect hangover food as well. Works with. Well, so, in a romantic setting, poutine is set. win. So what is poutine? Oh, well, if you guys, if you're bringing her poutine and it's romantic, I'm not getting in the way. I'm gonna get the heck out of Dodge. Um, it's basically food from heaven with a little devilish side to it. All right, you know that's not working. We're gonna have to just go with one. Sorry, 
We just started the game and we thought we were gonna get like so much. Aren't you safe? You just wanted to kill me in the game anyway, so. See? She doesn't even deny it. Only for revenge of the things that you said about Zelda earlier. The truth, you mean? It's not working. Is this one working? That, yeah, yeah, that's the controller. You can, oh, yeah. no, I unplugged that one. No, yeah, I was, to, I was letting you know so you didn't unplug the camera. All right, there you go. All right, let's see. Nope. That forehead, 10 out of 10. <laughs> His forehead was in the way. Oh, well, look at your forehead. I'm like, it is like that normal forehead. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah, Duncan was like right in the camera. So um, I, got... I know, I know. Oh, you did say hold on. Sorry. Oh. Oh, yeah, you, you know what you had to do? Go all the way back. Remember, I had to press A in the controller to start the game? Yeah. To make, maybe that will do that. If you go. Oh, oh. Oh, and co-op would be a different one. Yeah, you can only do single. Uh, okay. Alright. 720p? Hosh, hosh. What is this? 1998? I know. We're going I'm, 20. I'm joking. We didn't. High quality is everything. Alright, good. Alright, music. Someone oh. seriously tell me what poutine is. It's just french fries and gravy? That sounds well, disgusting. It's like French fries. It's a special kind of gravy and it like cheese. You had me a French fries and cheese. That's all I would need. You can leave the rest out. All right, there you go. Oh my god, chili cheese fries. I mess with that. All right, we're going to story mode. Let's go. My inner fat child came out and was like, oh my god. Chili cheese fries. the bomb right now. Our story begins in the middle of last Tuesday, where a hopeless young freeloader called Sam is sipping a fancy cup of coffee with a name nobody can pronounce. No one was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But not the actual spoon that he has in his mouth now. That is a different spoon. But a figurative spoon that represents all the wealth and attention that he has been receiving from him. Rich. And their Rich. And their butlers, wow. Wow. Well, you're a douche, aren't you, Sam? Link to what? This is Sam's girlfriend. That's a girl? Wow. It happens. Sam's girlfriend is upset. That As happens. with most rich and famous brats, yeah. Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this chip. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do stuff. I end up with a limp spine and Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. Kills him. Uh, hold on. Fractured jawbone. Told you. Oh no, it did freak out on us. It killed the screen. Hold on. Oh no. Hold on. You guys didn't get to see me predict er uh, what I said earlier about Amber and killing people. How chicks kill people. That's what you guys do. So no, we just end up cutting off their penises and making them eat it. Alright guys, let's try that again. We'll get it reinstarted. Alright, let's start it up and this time with the controller. Not to cut off the penis part, hopefully. That's not funny at all. Why are you laughing at that? I mean, your facial reaction. That, of, of fear? Yeah. Oh my god. No, I see why Duncan. It's probably Amber that killed the hug, uh, See, this is why Duncan no, no, is always leaning right, toward me. I get it. I'm scared, Duncan. You're gonna save me. Hold on. I, oh. I just hit A, so wait, wait, sorry. Oh. I don't, hold on. Oh, yeah, this yeah. I dig the music in this game, though.
So while we wait, what are you guys playing right now? And by you guys, I mean the stream. Okay. Who are you guys can answer to, I guess? You, let me I'm guess. I'm just trying to get Fall my... Out? Well, yes. Thank and, you. And... Are you and still trying to get your rig well, sorted? Huh? You still trying to get your rig sorted? Yeah, still trying to get that sorted. I'm thinking about switching on over to the game show to test out to see if my issue is actually OBS. Mm -hmm. but, That's really um, weird. Do people use game show that much? I've never really heard of people streaming like it. I don't know if it's good. Um, it's It looks like it, it's can be very it has the potential of being something really really good i think but it is not very intuitive like i would say obs studio is oh, okay Ooh. vortex oh but um no i'm planning on playing a game called atlas reactor by Tryon games Try i know it's fine yeah. all right there you guys go perfect right. first say again yep Nice, I'm playing Shadow Warrior 2 and Roblox. All right, guys, nice. let's start the story mode over again. All right. Nope. Or continue? Or continue. Well, they didn't get to see the part of it because it's froze on there. Okay, Sam dies. Sam dies, all right, all right. Let's start with Sam dies. I don't want to see the part with the violent girlfriend again, but you know. You gotta stop doing it. This chick scares me. Just don't look at her. Sign there too. What up, Alpha Chef? Ah, garbage. Hold on for a minute, guys. Give me a second. I don't know. I don't even know why I was doing that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to lose this either. Hold on, guys. She is stalking her prey. <laughs> I don't want to be her prey. I want to live. All right, continue. Oh. Figurative spoon there that go. represents all the, the wealth and attention that he has been yeah, receiving okay. from his parents. <laughs> and their butlers. And their butlers, parents. I'm going to get you back to this. You're a douche, aren't you, sir? Can't Blink twice now. if yes. <laughs> he can't hear. This is Sam's girlfriend. Yes, uh, also Jordan, not we are being heard by Sam. She's mad at Sam for his lack of responsibility, produced by his large. We're playing wealth. Manuel Samuel. She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her birthday for the third year in a row. Sam's girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do stuff. I'd end up with a limp spine head. Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. Get an abortion? Right? Leave him and be reasonable? Yes! She attacked him. Forget your girlfriend's birthday, she gets to a Sam is laying unconscious on the floor. He gathers his strength and makes an effort to get up. Oh, I leave the bad. Then he makes another effort to stand up straight. Sam is hit in the head so hard, he has to remind himself how to walk. He takes a right step. Then he takes a left step. Oh, I good see job, I Sam. Oh, You're very good at existing. How dare you startle my child? An overprotective mother <laughs> hurls a cup of coffee in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly to regain his vision. Say something, Harold. Oh, gee. How is our son going to become a respected politician if he can't fend for himself? I thought he was going to become an actor. Oh, what's the difference? Uh. Gotta walk, bud. Oh, I forgot one leg I have. Sam oh, remembers oh, the oh, one thing he's good though. at. Get it. Oh, get down! <laughs> <laughs> oh! He turns around to pay ah. for his okay. <laughs> sorry. Right, to turn around? Okay. Alright, uh, wait. No, you have to unlock the door. Oh, it told me to turn around. Wait. To turn the knob, I think. Gotta circle it around, the left or the right one? 
Uh, uh, maybe, maybe go, might go the other way. Yeah, go the, okay, go the other way. This is so cool to me. I don't know why this is so cool. I'm sorry. Right, this... <laughs> For some reason, he keeps putting his hand right there. You're like, dude, stop looking like a pedophile. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. That bumper oh. to use your Oh, I know. Arm. I'm just getting this warm. Let me strap one little. Okay. <laughs> Sam pays the guy 500 euros. Barely for what? Covering the coffee. Thanks for the tip, douchebag. Sam decides to hurl another 500 at the guy. Not such a douchebag after all. Sam is hurling stacks of 500s left and right. He has no perception of money. Man. You must, you must, yeah, Sam make it is rain. about to spend his whole weekly his allowance on tipping a barista named Tony. <laughs> he really was hit hard in the head. Holy feces. Oh, I'll just start my own coffee shop. Once again, Sam makes someone quit their job by tipping them too much. <laughs> so this is like a common occurrence apparently with Sam. He can tip too much. So I need to find where Sam lives and oh, just have him like hurl fat stats Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now, right, now, now you can leave. <laughs> the walking aspect of this just makes me laugh so much. Sam spends a decade making his way out the door, which is pretty good for a guy with a major concussion. <laughs> As Sam waggles outside, he sees his girlfriend on the other side of the road. Sam pulls himself together and rushes around. towards his no. soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. No, let me go the other way. Oh, God damn it. Woman this is when a septic tank her. truck approaches Sam with an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. The uh, impact renders kilometers? him eight types of dead. Yep. She's gonna go smiling. So. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that was not good. That's a lot of vomit for that guy. I like that name. Why didn't he check know, both right? sides before he crossed the street as well? I know. Should have checked both sides, dummy. She really should have just ran away from the chick that's crazy. That's what I would Oh, Zan or Carozzo. Long way down for hell. I don't know where they're at, but apparently this is it. Hosting scene. Apparently there's like a bus stop on the way to hell. Yeah, they got over the river. Oh, I like how she was like, there's a few I should know that she's been there. P.S. We're single. <laughs> That's good advertising for the game, guys. Like, P.S. We're single. Please, you know, talk to us. Who knew a bottle to the face would result in such a terrible fate for Sam? But a bottle won't be the only thing that will meet Sam's face today. There's also the ground. Oh God! In here. <laughs> I thought for a second I was like, and I was like, oh, this is one of those games. Let's go. <laughs> I right, walk yourself down, bud. Sam does not like being dead a single bit. He also hates the eerie feeling of not having any cash on him. Then he finds seven glowing notes in his pocket. That makes him feel reasonably better. The source of the sound is none other than obliteration and oblivion, extermination and extinction, the end, decease and demise, the grim reaper, death. He's trying to do a kickflip on a skateboard and is dressed like a douchebag for some reason. In his coarse, horrifying voice, he lays this on town. Yo, yo, yo! You must be Sam from the info I was provided. Then he takes a second look at Sam and his eye sockets widen. Holy feces, dude! Your soul will be like a diamond! Let me cut you a deal that we can seal. For reals? Aight, man, it decided. 
The notes in Sam's pocket are something called a shred of life. Every soul has at least one, and it is the biggest unit in Hell's currency, followed by quality of life, school of life, sound of life, meaning of life, and thug life. <laughs> if you give me your shreds, I'll resurrect your face and get you out of hell on one condition. You'll have to survive 24 hours with a handicap I choose under my supervision, bro. Sam decides to check out the rest of hell before doing any deals with supernatural beings. You love hell? Oh, sorry, Dad. Too bad so far. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a plumber. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. All right, that sounds fair. Yes. Sam notices that the souls that get into hell are forced to get a job and become functioning souls of society. <laughs> for most people, this is okay. But for Sam, it's horrifying. He hurls his shreds at death like he's never hurled piles of money no, before. I know, right? He doesn't want to cheddar. Let's see if we can find a job for you. Remind me of cheddar. To be. Ooh, he keeps the last shred for the next time he meets the gatekeeper of hell. Whenever that's going to be. No. <laughs> I, bro, I only get to do these deals and... But if you really want to live in biz, you have to do it manually. Also, I will stop speaking in rhymes now. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to get into vaping. Are you going to judge me harshly for that? Yes. That's more reason for me to do it then. Sam has just traveled through time, space, and logic and finds himself fully alive, and more importantly, rich again. I think it's weird. His joy is like only dimmed by the yeah. fact that he can't move at all. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is when he shows up. What the hell happened to him? Yo, yo, yo! The thing is, my yeah, face is Duncan's body. Look what happened. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you look great, bro. Uh, you be lie, okay? Can you hear me? Um, blink twice if yes. Oh, cool. You be alive. Everything be fine. All right, so this here be the dealing biz. All your body functions be manual, so you kind of have to do stuff on purpose. Um, you be turning kind of blue. Might want to consider breathing. <laughs> bitchin'. Be you be blinking and breathing, that be bitchin'. So, all right. Go survive for a day, and I'll let you live normally for the rest of your life. If you somehow die within the next 24 hours, you'll go to hell and I'll keep your shreds forever. I'll be over there doing kick flips if in you need me. Once again, Sam has to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. And, once again, he has to remind himself how to walk. Oh, by the way, dude, you be getting late for work. Sam does something that resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kickflip now. Sam fries out a strange maneuver <laughs> by stepping with the same leg twice. Boy. Sam's vision is blurrier than a Norwegian teenager at a wedding. Yeah. He decides oh, to blink. Oh. 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 Pain. Oh. You gotta breathe too, bro. Yeah, no. It's just... uh, let's see. I think it's, Sam has I some trouble with his blue. posture and has to focus on his spine. He's slammed into the pavement. Uh. I'm breathing fine. Oh. In my knees. <laughs> blink, Sam. Blink. I'll be doing wrong, yo. He has to use his opposite leg to get up again. Sam underestimates the importance <laughs> of air in his lungs. It's the commentator that makes this game funny. Yeah. <laughs> right, you can't use the bathroom. Get up, you use the toilet. Blink, right? Sam. Bl Sam tries to take a leap. Oh, shit. No. 
Hey, dude, have you seen my... Oh. Uh... <laughs> Doing a good job, Mike. Got... Oh, don't get... No, Mike, don't get over the side. Don't go... Don't, don't go crazy. You got... Mike, you got it. You got it. Don't piss off the side of the toilet, Mike. Keep going. Keep going, Mike. Sam going. takes a oh. leak everywhere. Why? Why? I do know. <laughs> <Sam moves on. laughs> that is not even right. I had to breathe that whole time. Oh. Sam. Blink, Sam. Blink. <laughs> what Take is it. this game? <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like he's like scratching his nuts right across the yeah. carpet. I'm goes. trying to make sure this dude's wearing a cup. Uh. Like, what? <laughs> his balls will not exist. Yeah, like this, you're, he's done at this. Will not be able to procreate. That's not, that's not a big loss. It's I, don't think, I don't think he should have children. Yeah. Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Oh, you're trying to focus on your spine, apparently. Or go go to the soap. Blink, Sam, blink! <laughs> Sam the water's has like some just trouble into with his, his posture and has to focus on his spine. I think I'm supposed to be trying to get a percentage of myself clean. I think so. In game balance. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mike. Sam tries Get that to lotion into your shot. hands. Blink, <laughs> <laughs> Sam. Blink. <laughs> he looks like a mantis that's trying to explain to someone how a bicycle works. <laughs> oh my God. Your spine, Sam. It matters. I don't understand what this is. I, I know, it's a little weird. I know, Sam needs to sleep that get off. Come on, you can do this. Explain yourself. Breathe, don't forget to breathe. Blink, Sam! <laughs> Blink! <laughs> Blink 2,000 times for yes. <laughs> Alright, you got this, you got this, bud. How hard is it to blink, Sam? I thought I would want to keep my eyes closed to not get soap on my head. My eyes. Yeah, I'm like, what? It only gave me the option to clean my head. Yeah, see, that's, that's the, the drawback, it seems like, so far. Yeah. So, maybe... How was going on, Bloody Ghost Moon? Oh, there you go. You're, you were getting close to watching yourself. Yeah, I almost died. <laughs> you slipped and fell in the shower. Right? <laughs> oh, you, get, Help, if you don't stand I your ass. Boy, if you don't get up. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. You just walk. There you go. There you go. I'll just coach you. All right, rub your body. Sam your body. is clean as a whistle. Good job, Sam. Alright. <laughs> Come on, you got this. You got this. You can do it. Oh, you're, you're. <laughs> I just 
is not. I'm like dying over here. Like, Why? Stand up! Get up and walk! <laughs> oh god! We're gonna do a kickflip now. What? Friggin' skateboard. Ah, let's see. Is there something yeah. you need to do in the bathroom? Though? No, I think yeah. he did. I think he's, he's gotta get ready for work. Okay. No, I mean, I, he didn't brush his teeth. Ah, let's see. <gasps> Probably should start breathing. No, that's blinking. What if you're just literally humming that's the floor? Body. Sam nearly forgets to brush his teeth, but his yes. pursuit of bearable uh, breath isn't teeth. over I yet. I all the way back. I think yeah. you gotta just go left, right, left, right, and left, right. No, he slips after a while. Is he really? That's so annoying. Yeah. That, See? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> See, like, when you try and breathe and walk at the same time, I think that's what it was. Gonna okay. do a kickflip now. Yeah. Uh, you can make it, you can make it. You can do it. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Uh, uh. Go, go, go. Got this. There you go, get the toothbrush. Oh. I forget what series this reminds me of. Sam holds on to that toothbrush like his life depends on it. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. Down to the floor. Only little brush. <laughs> you keep gotta blink too. You gotta blink. Sam is dumb enough to breathe in with his mouth full of water. He has to cough. <coughs> So I couldn't breathe while brushing my teeth, but he was suffocating anyway. Please. Yeah, make any sense. Then he lets go. How sad. Chair up. With clean know, teeth, Sam clean is teeth. ready to smile. <laughs> I like the he won't for at least 24 hours. <laughs> I was trying to. Oh. So everything manual. Could you imagine what that would be like? Oh. Clean and rice. empty. That, that, Sam like decides to find some clues. I'd hate my day. Yeah. Imagine like you'd have to focus on your hand coming in front oh, and then wiping and then standing at the same time. You ah, fall in your own poop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. It's freaking. Yeah. Trying to wipe your own ass. God. And then like, oh, you know, it's like it's a basketball he's got between his legs. He's just going like, ah, like bouncing it up and down, like oh. oh like one of those ah. things, like when you were a kid. Those yeah, but his testicles right, are there instead. Oh. Right on. That's my body. It'd be no, so, it'd be so painful. Please I'd, stop. That is. I'd hate my day right there. I'd be like, nope, done. No, what I'd be doing wrong, yo? Whatever happened Let's though. See. We need to get like some adult size. They yeah. probably were making men impotent. Sam can open doors now. Play with them. Clever boy. What is over there, Sam? I'm going to stop drinking water. Not that I'm having kids, I'm not. <laughs> Hashtag explorer. Keep going, keep going. After a while, his spine, uh... No, oh, you're just not gonna get there. It's gonna be horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Sam enters his wardrobe. What will he wear today? Oh, how large is this Louis <gasps> Rich, I guess? Yeah. He wears the same douchebag jeans every day, it seems like. He picks yeah. a pair of blue jeans. The ugly ones. The ugly ones. Oh. <gasps> 
Sam successfully puts on his pants, <laughs> feeling more accomplished than ever. He proceeds to find a jacket. Only the best one will do. He settles for a mediocre one. Humble. <laughs> Fully clothed, Sam is ready for the day. P.S. He's not. Wow. You gotta love the sarcasm. I know. Like, <laughs> I like the fat stacks that are just sitting right there. He's like, yeah. there's money here. You know what the floor reminds me of? Do you remember the uh, movie uh, Richie Rich? Yeah. yeah. The floor just reminds me of that. Just I gotta put your goes. shoes on too. Uh oh. Their shoes on somehow. He puts on his shoes, living the dream. Oh, the man is going for like some style. shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sometimes you got to, you know? Not that I've done. Well, Sam, you can function, go. Thanks, and you go back in the. God damn it. <laughs> blink, Sam, blink. Don't, don't scrape your balls against them. Sam, what? Sam decides oh to Oh my god! <laughs> Apparently, that, too used to hurling to money around. Yep. Too <laughs> used to hurling money around. He's bound to that all. I know, I know, I know. He's moving, he's moving. Left, Flappy right. Rooster is Sam's favorite Flappy game. Rooster. He has no time for playing with a flappy rooster right now, though. Oh, oh I want to play. What is he doing? Get on sticks. Hey, well, I don't think he won't let you. I heard what you said, Amber. Yes. Oh, thank you for that, host. We do appreciate it. I can't even. What is going on here? Get, get I'm trying to play the game. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, it took off it, on you. It said no. That was either supposed to or not supposed to happen. We'll never know. Following the story at this time, and gang wars are still an escalating problem at Bridge Street, where the police are struggling to regain control. Commuters are advised to... Hey, Lucy! I'm oh, home. hey, dude. Still alive, huh? Yes, yeah, every time I breathe, I, you can't breathe in the wall. I think that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Love that moment yeah. where he keeps trying to walk and like falls on his crotch. Yeah. Right under his crotch. Now. There is a note saying, sent over a maid to make you breakfast. Don't breathe in while chewing. Love, Mark. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. His mom sent over me. All right. So it is uh, that time for oh, us to end that. Yep. All right. So guys, we're gonna turn off the camera here. Oh, I was just getting the hang of the game too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. That's all right. Oh, is it? Or, or is it too late for questions? It is a little bit too late for questions right now. Uh, so Amber got saved. No battle for one today, but yep. next week. Well, guys. Thank you for already being here for the next for this episode of Cyber Insider. We really do yes. appreciate it, uh, guys. We had a great time talking. If you guys want to rewatch all these episodes that we've actually recorded, we have a YouTube. You guys can just go to YouTube Cyber Gaming, and you guys get to watch us and actually go through all the episodes over and over again. So when you're bored at work, you get two hour specials on YouTube. Man, that's a lot of. Uh, we can fill up a whole day. Yes, we literally can fill up a whole day. Yeah. I know that was a lot, right? Exactly. Anyway, guys, we we're glad you all attended us. Don't forget, guys, we will be back next Tuesday. So make sure to follow and keep track of this, guys. Yep. And we'll be back Thursday. And then next Friday, guys, we'll be giving that copy of Battlefield 1 away and some more game keys. And be on, make sure to join the Discord as well. Follow Cyber Gear. No, Cyber Gaming on Twitter, right? Cyber Gaming on, on Twitter. Twitter. On Twitter. Cyber. The, uh, the uh, Instagram. Cyber Gaming. It's also Cyber Gaming. Right. Everything yeah. cyber follow, gaming yeah, except for this. Follow us on Instagram. You'll <laughs> we'll see some, some funny videos or whatever. And there's the Discord for you guys to check out. So guys, thank you so Side much. Meat was on Instagram last week. Was it last week? Oh, uh, that was last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thigh meat. 
the, the, our biggest hit. Our biggest hit, indeed. Our biggest hit. So, anyway, guys, thank you for being here. Appreciate you all for watching, and tune in next time for next Cyber Insider. Yes. Until next time, guys. And remember, this is Hated Greatness, yep. Ramblers, and Pwncast. We're all on Twitch. You guys can find us there or here. So thank you guys so much. Of course, I show up late. It's all right, Terezo. We love you, brother. Anyway, I'm about to get on Discord now, so you guys want to chat or whatever, you can, you can find me. I'll probably be streaming soon in like 10 minutes. Are you guys streaming tonight? Uh, I will not be streaming tonight. No, uh, so I'll be... Yep. And, I, and I'll be streaming uh, either tomorrow on Friday. Uh, so stick on close to that Discord, guys, or okay. uh, later uh, on Saturday. So, all right, guys. But definitely for sure Sunday. Anyway, guys, have a good night, and we'll talk to you later. Peace. Control. Oh, man. That is not a long micro. Ask the front desk if they have one, a longer one. They might. Uh, Hold on, guys. Be right back. Or you could. I probably should have told them there's a wireless dongle on that, too. But... <laughs> there's wireless dongle. Oh, you remember. There you go. It's on the front, yeah. Yeah, there's. And it should be charged, so you'll be good to go. But you have to plug that into the back of the system because the front has the camera in it. All right, I'll put it in the back. Phrasing. <laughs> Miss back. Duncan, yes. Yes, Miss Duncan. I didn't know what else to call you. <laughs> I'm sorry. So. I will take the same that Duncan is having as well as a plane ticket to where y'all are. Where are you at right now, KG? State-wise or country-wise. I guess you could be out of the country. Here you go, Amber. Oh, shit. All right. Hold on. Will I find it? You're going to have me and her work together. You think that's going to end well? She hates my guts. She's going to kill me the first chance she gets. Why does every man I meet always think I'm going to kill them? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's... Sayings like that, every man you meet wants to kill you. I mean, hey, you know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have these guys give us one. No one, one, no one thinks, I, no, no chicks think I want to kill them. You know? Right. Oh, like a better idea. Really? No, I'm a very gentle, women know that I'm a, they, they see me and they see safety. I see you and I'm like, yeah, she probably stabbed well, me in my sleep. Depends on, uh, depends on uh, what part of the country you're in though. I don't know, I've been with some chicks that were racist. We got along fine. That certain, forbidden meat I'm not, thing going on? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I've been with chicks that were racist, but we had an understanding. Uh, he's in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Oh, Montreal. That's what's up. French Canadian extraordinaire. I promise to bring poutine along. Yes! Bring me some poutine. I've been wanting to try some poutine. Do you not know what poutine is? Is it what I'm thinking right now? Probably not, no. What is poutine, Duncan? What? Uh, it's like French something. fries. It's like, I don't know. That's what it explains. It's like French fries, it's gravy. And oh, it's like, food. I was thinking it was like another chip. No, no, no. Oh, I was no. like, I mean, I'm not judging you if that was the case. Amber does have a bit of a killer bob. What? Thank you. What? Thank you. You seem like you abuse people. Physically, with love from your mind, but for us it's painful. All right, so I think it's cool, but it should work now. Yep, you should be good. So if I just oh, uh, so leader? my controller is no longer lit up. I don't know what you just did. It was way too freaking All right, slow no, we're not doing and this. moving. No, no, we're okay, not, we're, 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 and it bored the crap out of me. Don't let her break and my heart, please. And it went way too Duncan, slow. Duncan, my friend, why are you letting her break Amber, my heart? Amber, Amber, as much as I would love to see this debate, let's not do this. Let's not do this. Thank you. Even though they could have ridden the eagle all the way to the end. You they shut up your a... face. You shut it. That is blasphemy. <laughs> it's, no. It's just the apparent no. flaw in the story. No, that is not a... How? They couldn't have ridden... Do you not... You think that the, the, the gates of Mordor will just let people fly in all willy-nilly without distraction? Can I... Well, let's... Let no, I'm not. Can you guys, I at least get some points back by saying that one of my favorites was actually Dune? <laughs> kinda, kinda. No, All right. No, no, no. I still don't trust him. <laughs> Board of the Rings, the Snore Towers. Ban him. I want to ban <laughs> your ban. No, him. no, stop, Michael. Put your phone down. No, no. Return of the Sea. <laughs> I'm sorry. They were they they made for great titles, but unfair. I do like Lord of the Rings. I'm not gonna lie. I do watch the series and I enjoy it. 
I even wa- see my first movie as a kid was actually watching if it makes you feel better. Okay. The reason why I love Lord of the Rings was uh, it was actually uh, was it the first one, The Hobbit. When it was the cartoon series, the animated one. The animated. I actually cur- like that one too. I really love that. Like that was that, that was what really moved me as a kid. So I was really excited. But I prefer the animated Hobbit to the the live action Hobbit. We just got that was not a very good film. Yeah, it just it didn't feel like Hobbitish. It no. just it felt and like they just threw the source material out the window and added new characters. It was just bad. Yeah, it, it just it, it didn't feel like it really rolled with that point. She wouldn't know anything about that. Anyway, so yeah, basically what happens is Ubisoft is telling everybody. That, uh, well, they're pushing it back to uh, March 14, 2017. Uh, they wanted to decide on the fact that they wanted to really develop the game a little bit more. So it felt like a very Star Trek game. Sorry, side note. Why is everything getting pushed back or coming out in March next year? I think it's due to publishers. Okay. Publishers are like... Because it seems like that, it's like March 17th is like jam-packed already with a bunch of console, uh, with a console and a bunch of games coming out. So it's like, why would you... I would figure you're going to avoid that date, but more and more games are slipping to that time frame. It seems like it's going to hurt them. It could. It could, it could possibly hurt them, but you never know. Like, see, when they push certain things back, uh, it's, 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 it could be for the better or for the worse. We don't know exactly. But, you know, uh, it's one of those things where you actually end up uh, seeing in the end. You know, like No Man's Sky kept getting pushed back, and we were all like, oh, my God, it's just going to get better. It's going to get better. And then they gave us that game, you know. Uh, so it's, you know, or yeah, they were like Wildcard said, behind on development. That definitely does happen. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, oh, I like the Lord of the Rings too. And so I saw the entire trilogy extended edition. I think I have to give them credit on that. Extended is a little bit too much. No, time. it's not. Extended is perfect. You think it's perfect? Just don't look at it. What up, Alpha Chef? Ah, garbage. Hold on for a minute, guys. Give me a second. I don't know. I don't even know why I was doing that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to lose the season. Hold on, guys. She is stalking her prey. I don't want to be her prey. I want to live. All right, continue. Oh. Curative spoon there that go. represents all the wealth and attention that he has been yeah, receiving okay. from his parents. <laughs> and their butlers. And their butlers, parents. I'm going to get you back to this. You're a douche, aren't you, sir? And Blink twice now. if yes. <laughs> he and can't her. hear. This is Sam's girlfriend. Yes, uh, also Jordan, not being a heard by Sam. She's mad at Sam for his lack of responsibility, produced by his large... We're playing well. Manuel Samuel. She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her birthday for the third year in a row. Sam's girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do stuff. I'd end up with a limp spine head. Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. Get an abortion? Right? Leave him and be reasonable? Yes! She attacked him. Forget your girlfriend's birthday, she gets to a Sam is laying unconscious on the floor. He gathers his strength and makes an effort to get up. Oh, I leave the pad. Then he makes another effort to stand up straight. Sam is hit in the head so hard he has to remind himself how to walk. He takes a right step. Then he takes a left step. Good job, Sam. You're very good at existing. How dare you startle my child! An overprotective mother <laughs> hurls a cup of coffee in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly to regain his vision. Say something, Harold! Oh, gee. How is our son going to become a respected politician if he can't fend for himself? I thought he was going to become an actor. Oh, what? Sayings like that, every man you meet wants to kill you. I mean, hey, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to have him just give us one. 
No one thinks I. No, no chicks think I want to kill them. You know. Right. Oh, seems like a better idea. Really? No, I'm a very gentle. Women know that I'm a. They, they see me and they see safety. I see you and I'm like, yeah, she probably stabbed well, me in my sleep. On, uh, depends on uh, what part of the country you're in, though. I don't know. I've been with some chicks that were racist. We got along fine. That certain... forbidden meat I'm not... thing going on. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I've been with chicks that were racist, but we had an understanding. Uh, he's in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Oh, Montreal. That's what's up. French Canadian extraordinaire. I promise to bring poutine along. Yes! Bring me some poutine. I've been wanting to try some poutine. Do you not know what poutine is? Is it what I'm thinking right now? Mm, probably not, no. What is poutine, Duncan? What? Uh, is like French fries is like, I don't know. Best way to explain it is like French fries, gravy, and Oh, it's like food. I was thinking it was like another chip. No, no, no. Oh, I was no. like... I mean, I'm not judging you if that was the case. Amber does have a bit of a killer bob. What? Thank you. What? Thank you. You seem like you abuse people. Physically. With love from your mind. But for us, it's painful. Alright. So I think it's co-op cool, and it should work now. Yep. You should be good. So if I just... Oh, uh, so leader? my controller is no longer lit up. I don't know what you just did. Oh, crap. Good stuff. Come on, you guys. It's like you've never played one of these things. Maybe she, do you have to hit A? I'm hitting A. No, it's you. Who's leading? Oh, now, now this guy confused. Uh-oh. Hold on. Emmer, are you serious? I just said, like, if we're going to play one more game, I think I ain't got no. Oh wait. Huh? What? Oh. Uh? Oh wait. Uh. Yes. Uh. What did they do at the mount? So. Oh, you know it's that guide. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You just brought up the Windows guide. Oh. You Balls. Can just, you can just close that. Just hit X. It'll go away. And then, uh, perfect hangover food as well. Works with well so, in a romantic setting. Poutine for the win. So what is poutine? Oh well, if you guys, if you're bringing her poutine, this romantic, I'm not getting in the way. I'm gonna get the heck out of dodge. Um, it's basically food from heaven with a little devilish side to it. All right, you know that's not working. We're gonna have to just go with one. Sorry, we just started the game and we thought we were gonna get like so much. Aren't you safe? Yes. to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. And, once again, he has to remind himself how to walk. Oh, by the way, dude, you be getting late for work. Sam does something that resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kickflip now. Sam fries out a strange maneuver <laughs> by stepping with the same leg twice. Ford. Sam's oh, vision is blurrier than a Norwegian teenager at a wedding. Yeah. He decides oh, to blink. Oh. 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 You gotta breathe too, bro. Yeah, no. It's just... uh, let's see. I think it's, Sam has I some trouble with his blue. posture and has because to focus on his spine. Being slammed into the pavement. Uh. I'm breathing fine. Oh. In my knees. <laughs> blink, Sam. Blink. Be doing wrong, yo. He has to use his opposite leg to get up again. Sam underestimates the importance <laughs> of air in his lungs. It's the commentator that makes this game funny. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Right, you can't use the bathroom. Get up, you use the toilet. Blink, right? Sam. Bl Sam tries to take a leap. Oh, shit. No. Hey, dude, have you seen my... Oh. Uh... <laughs> Doing a good job, Mike. Got oh, don't get no, Mike. Don't get off the side. Don't go. Don't, don't go crazy. You got Mike. You got it. You got it. Don't piss off the side of the toilet, Mike. Keep going. Keep going, Mike. Sam going. takes oh. a leak everywhere. Why? Why? I do know. <laughs> 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 that is not even right. I had to breathe that whole time. Oh, Sam. Blink, Sam. Blink. Wow. 
What Take is it. this game? <laughs> I feel like he's like scratching his nuts right across the yeah. carpet. I'm goes. trying to make sure this dude's wearing a cup. Ugh. Like, what? <laughs> his balls will not exist. Yeah, like this, you're, he's done at this. Will not be able to procreate. Yeah, that's, not big, <laughs> that's not a big loss. It's, I, don't think, I don't think he should have children. Yeah. Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Oh, you're trying to focus on your spine, apparently. Or go go to the soap. Blink, Sam! Blink! <laughs> Sam the has like some just trouble into with his, his posture and has to focus on his spine. I think I'm supposed to be trying to get a percentage of myself. Droid is guru when it comes to this kind of stuff. He knows. Touche. Look at Droid giving people technical support. We're not trying. Thank you, Droid. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. He's Middle Eastern. So hey, he's do you want something from El Pollo Loco? Uh, <laughs> I remember the South Villa. Uh, El Pollo Loco, what is that? I'll talk to you about it, babe. <laughs> What's that? That's my girlfriend. It's good. Oh, hello, Miss Dun Miss Duncan? I got to call Miss Duncan. I don't know what to call I don't. Uh, what's, what is. What do I call her? Just Janet. Or she goes by Sleazy Egg. So I'm going to call you Janet. Hello, Janet. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So, oh, there's co-op? What? How do we play co-op? Hold on. I got to get another controller. Oh, man. That is not a long micro. Ask the front desk if they have one, a longer one. They might. Uh, Hold on, guys. Here I go. Or you could. I probably should have told them there's a wireless dongle on that, too. But... <laughs> there's wireless dongle. Oh, you remember. There you go. It's on the front, yeah. Yeah, there And it should be charged, so you'll be good to go. But you'll have to plug that into the back of the system because the front has the camera in it. All right, I'll put it in the back. Phrasing. <laughs> Miss back. Duncan, yes. Yes, Miss Duncan. I didn't know what else to call you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh... Oh. I will take the same that Duncan is having as well as a plane ticket to where y'all are. Where are you at right now, KG? State-wise or country-wise. I guess you could be out of the country. Here you go, Amber. Oh, shit. All right. Come on. Will I find it? You're going to have me and her work together. You think that's going to end well? She hates my guts. She's going to kill me the first thing she gets. Why does every man I meet always think I'm going to kill them? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's... Sayings like that. Every man you meet wants to kill you. I mean, hey, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have just give us one. No one, there. no one thinks I. No, no chicks think I want to kill them. You know? Oh, right. chicks like a better idea. Really? No, I'm a very gentle. Women know that I'm a. They, they see me and they see safety. I see you and I'm like, yeah, she probably stabbed well, me in my sleep. Depends on uh, depends on uh, what part of the country you're in, though. I don't know. I've been with some chicks that were racist. We got along fine. That certain... forbidden meat I'm not... thing going on? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I've been with chicks that were racist, but we had an understanding. Uh, he's in Montreal. Theoretically could be dealing with the fact that Link is having to come to terms with himself dying. It's a eulogy for death. That's mm. never been done in a Nintendo game, let alone mm. Zelda. Like, that's deep to me. And even after that, like, yeah, there's been Zelda games that were a little bit grittier and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But Majora's Mask was the most adult Zelda game I've ever played. Like, even now when I go back and play it, I'm like, wow, this is really, really heavy. And they did it in such a creative way where kids playing it aren't going to grasp that stuff. You have to be older yeah. to get that. Yeah. It's one of those layered games where, yeah, it could be a game. They plan for enjoy. us to grow up in the future. They plan for you to grow up and learn more and go back and say, Holy oh, crap. All yeah. the, the stages of death and the second, all of that's oh. Mm -hmm. No other game, Zelda game has that. I feel like we need to make a YouTube session of this because this is actually going very deep. Uh, oh, yeah. there's <laughs> we can go very deep. I know, I know. Zelda. It's Zelda is just going into that part. Well, I will agree. All right, Twilight Princess was a redeeming factor. 
I really did enjoy I like that. Twilight Princess, and that gets. I just I felt like Ocarina's like when I played it as a kid, it was really good. But now, when when I'm I look at it, defend Ocarina's time. I think that's the most overrated Zelda game of all time. So we agree with you. On, I agree with you on that. Oh, oh thank you for that, host Double Dorian. We do appreciate it. <laughs> but me and you agree, Ocarina of Time overrated. It's Majora's Mask. Oh, oh Majora's Mask. Mask. Okay, Majora's yeah. Mask was the development of where yeah. it should have gone. Yeah. And okay. then we got linked to we got linked to the past, which is like the pinnacle if you ask me of Zelda. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Gotta hold that, huh, Amber? Yeah. No L in Amber, but there's one today, huh? Your name is Lamber today in this episode. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh wow, okay. So moving on so these two don't go at each other's throats. Uh we also saw guys another kind of cool thing that came out this week was actually uh, and, and this was uh, for uh, Watch Dogs. Uh, I know a lot of people aren't that super excited about Watch Dogs, but we'll take a look at it anyway, guys. So, a new trailer account for Watch Dogs is that if you buy Watch Dogs 2, which it seems to be at this point, Watch Dogs is really struggling uh, to get people to be hyped about it, because I think everyone's just kind of like, whatever about it, which is kind of sad. Yeah. yeah. But then Watch Dogs had a good premise, this first one. The second one, everyone's kind of like, mm. See, this was, yeah, and I agree with you on that. Like, the premises wasn't bad. It was just the execution. And then the way the second one's looking, it's like, no one cares. And it looks no. like they actually addressed a lot of the issues of the first one. Yeah, I agree. So let's take a look at the new was it content they're trying to show everybody right now. As uh, was it, you get what's called with the pre-order bonus, the Zodiac Killer mission. So let's check that out. interesting as a, as, a, as a thing but at that point i'm just kind of like what is this amber to queen and em embler <laughs> and game theory is off <laughs> watch dogs i'm a strong independent gamer i'm not gonna go back to pre-order abusive graphics beater you <laughs> saw <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, god. oh god that was yeah. good uh, I actually go back to Ubisoft for the abuse sometimes. Like, there's a very s and &M relationship between me and Ubisoft. Like, everybody tries to, like, stand up for him. Like, when I sat there, when I, and I was with some officials, and I thought it was kind of funny at one point, was that they were talking, and they were, like, I, I went to him, I go, like, so how do you guys feel the fact that you released Assassin's Creed, mm -hmm. uh, the new one, and I think it was the French one at the time. I think it was, like, that was four? Unity? Yeah, Unity. Yeah, yeah. I said there were so many issues. Yeah, that game was broken. But you guys, uh, you guys, like, I go, you guys didn't really do much about it. You just released it, and then you, you ran an embargo on it and stopped it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, all they did was they were just like, we have no problem. He's like, to be honest, he's like, uh, it's been a great selling year. We've done great, and, uh, you know, we're going to keep going. And I was like, it was. Over that question. I know, they were just like, they were just like, <laughs> we're done. But the thing they did offer, and the great thing, and I, I respect Ubisoft about this, is that they said we did try to make it up by offering free down was it DLC they and did. like helping out. They did. You know, and I and I give that to Ubisoft. You know. Oh, another host. Oh, thank you. I play the world. Thank you for that host so much. Coming, thank man. you so much. Guys, we're on fire tonight. Anyway, so I thought that was cool that Ubisoft was willing to do that. I was like, okay, you know, it's it's one of the things that I think is kind of interesting. Yeah. But I think at the same time too, you go like, yeah, but why did you release the game? It's like Mafia Three, like. It looks like you didn't even oh, do Q&A on that thing. The fact that people could find, like, seven minutes worth of just bad programming. I was like, and man. Like they had to search for it either. They were just playing the game the normal way. <laughs> like, like oh, they hyped it up so much. The last so honest release of Ubisoft, in my opinion, was they went bonkers and released uh, 8, Beyond Good and Evil, Prince of Persia, and another game with a week span. Yeah, yeah. What up, Brock Games? What's How's it going? What's up, Brock? How you doing, man? So I don't know, I'm gonna give Watch Dogs to a try. I am, even though I said I wasn't really. I'm like I'm not super amped for it or anything like that. But just because I felt that Watch Dogs One got a lot of undeserved hate, like it was a flawed game, but the premises was really cool. And being someone from Chicago, I loved how they portrayed Chicago in that game. They did a really good job, and that's very that's an aspect that people don't give them enough props for. So I agree, I agree. And that's so what they do with San Francisco. So. Smoke break. <laughs> so and on top of that, guys. Talking of mistakes and failures. Uh-oh. Uh, so it seems that after what we talked about last time about 
the Samsung Galaxy oh, yeah. uh, being used because it was actually bomb. It seems that maybe it's sayings like that. Every man you meet wants to kill you. I mean, hey, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have him just give us one. No one, one, no one thinks. I, no, no chicks think I want to kill them. You know. Right. Well, seems like a better idea. Really? No, I'm a very gentle. Women know that I'm a. They, they see me and they see safety. I see you and I'm like, yeah, she probably stabbed well, me in my sleep. On, uh, depends on uh, what part of the country you're in, though. I don't know. I've been with some chicks that were racist. We got along fine. That forbidden meat I'm not, thing going on. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I've been with chicks that were racist, but we had an understanding. Uh, he's in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Oh, Montreal. That's what's up. French Canadian extraordinaire. I promise to bring poutine along. Yes! Bring me some poutine. I've been wanting to try some poutine. Do you not know what poutine is? Is it what I'm thinking right now? Mm, probably not, no. What is poutine, Duncan? What? Poutine uh, is like French something. fries. It's like, I don't know. That's what it explains. It's like French fries, and gravy. And oh, it's like food. I was thinking it's like another chip. No, no, no. Oh, I was no. like. I mean, I'm not judging you if that was the case. Ember does have a bit of a killer bob. What? Thank you. What? Thank you. You seem like you abuse people physically with love from your mind, but for us it's painful. All right. So I think it's co-op, cool, and it should work now. Yep. You should be good. So if I just... Oh, uh, so leader? my controller is no longer lit up. I don't know what you just did. Oh, crap. Good stuff. Come on, you guys. It's like you've never played one of these things. Maybe should, do you have to hit A? I'm hitting A. No, it's you. Who's leading? Oh, now, now this guy confused. No. Uh -oh. Hold on, Ember, you see yours? I ain't got no. Oh wait. Huh? What? Oh. Huh? Oh wait. Huh? Yes. Uh. I'm gonna have to do that at the mount. Oh, you notice that guide? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You just brought up the Windows guide. Oh. You Balls. Can just, you can just close that. Just hit X. It'll go away. And then. Uh, perfect hangover food as well. Works with. Well, in so, a romantic setting, poutine. Uh, so, what is poutine? Oh, well, if you guys, if you're bringing her poutine, this romantic, I'm not getting in the way. I'm gonna get the heck out of Dodge. Um, it's basically food from heaven with a little devilish side to it. All right, you know that's not working. We're gonna have to just go with one. Sorry, we just started the game and we thought we were gonna get like so much. Aren't you safe? Uh, There's no definitive way to proving it. There's always that one partner that somehow is a little bit sneakier you're than the other. To keep doubt. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's the that's the key. You keep doubt. If it can't be proved, you, you you're innocent. Basically, how OJ said it: if the glove don't fit, you can't you, quit. You must quit. Exactly. Mm. That's it. I mean. And then he also went and uh, wrote a book called uh, "What If I Did It." Did he actually what? write that book? <laughs> that is the most gangster thing I've heard today. <laughs> that happened. Yes. <laughs> That Yo. happened. Okay, OJ is my. Well, no, I don't want to kill yeah. people. But yeah, o, not you don't that he did kill it. A, a not that he, not that he did that. We don't allegedly. No, nah, no, he was found innocent. He is not guilty. Okay. Well, yeah. anyway, <laughs> moving past that part. So I'm not I, gonna ever get to date a white woman ever again. After that. Uh, I, just lost it. That's I know you were literally just. Been, yeah. It was like the no-fly zone. You just put yourself onto that yeah, record, and you were done. Just like a, they were just, just like, like, oh, he's, he's very cute. And no, consoles are running 80s. Was it? Uh, let's see. Uh, zero plays games. Consoles are running 86 anyway. Next stop is the garbage can for them. Buy a PC. Gaming quality price point. Exactly. And that's what we're offering over at Cypher Gaming. Anyway, besides that sh shameless uh, plugging there. So, guys, today we are actually picking out a game from the PC genre. Uh... Because, you know, we play PC games and consoles, but, you know, here we play PCs. So, let me show this to you guys. Uh, this is a game that we picked out, and I thought this was a really funny game, so... Uh, let's see if we got it here. Uh, what? No, Joy brought up a good point where even if he... Double Jeopardy, he can legally make the book. So yeah. maybe he wrote the book saying, I didn't do it, but if I had... Still baller. I need to. OJ. Mm. It is baller status. Well, he's in prison, so I don't want to be like OJ, but I'm going to be kind of like OJ. 
You don't you don't want to ever be like OJ. But you don't, but do want to be OJ, and I, I get that. You got the snow bunnies, you know. It, 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 I I get it, and he murdered one of the snow bunnies. But I, we don't. Come eight. on, man. All right, all right. Hearthstone. You're supposed to be you're supposed to be my boy. I am your boy. I have. Anyway, moving forward, uh, we picked out a game that you guys <laughs> we thought would be entertaining. Uh, for tonight's gameplay, so we're gonna go through this, uh, guys. Check it out; it's actually pretty funny. We we were intrigued by it. I found this uh, digging through the deeps. So what I like to do every so often is dig through the depths of Steam to find games that are intriguing, and this is one of the games that I found that I thought you guys may like, and uh, will be our little gameplay. So check it out, guys. Are we gonna actually do? We're we're gonna do it. Just hold on. Okay. So I, I want to know if the stream is gonna judge us for doing what the game says. You'll see what I'm talking about in a few seconds, straight. Oh. Oh. Up on a bigger screen. And, and not a console okay. that's portable. Yeah, and that's and that's a concern there. Uh, real quick to answer your time, Clef Gaming, uh, before we go on to my answer. Uh, we started about, uh, what? We start usually 15 minutes uh, after 6 o'clock. So yeah. Yeah. we've been going for 30 minutes. About, yeah. yeah. Uh, we got some more time, guys. And we got some other stuff going on today. Uh, and Red 5, I'm going to read yours real quick before I answer it. What I got from this is this plays like Mission Impossible Heist. Just when you think Tom Cruise is stumped, his gadget does one more weird trick to save the day. Dog needs to go outside, no problem. Just take apart your modular controller and snap the pieces on the sides of the switch screen. Your friends haven't seen you in weeks, even though you live on the rooftop directly opposite from Brooklyn. Law, no problem. Just carry your switch in one hand while you give out side hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to put it in my hands in Nintendo X. Yeah, it, well, it's called the Switch, not the NX. But, so... That's another thing. The, the, the NX is such a cooler name than the Switch. I know. Switch was, like, a weird... Maybe that's what they were doing, was just trying to call it, like, like co-name it NX. So nobody knew what the real name was. I mean, I that. that's what they were doing. Plus, I don't think Nintendo knows that Switch means something entirely different in some other hemispheres. You know yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 so, yeah. Like, yeah. Nintendo is definitely but becoming a Switch. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, you know. But you know, at the same time, I can kind of see the with the reason for the naming because it, it's a uh, more user friendly. Like, people, are, people are gonna understand something changes about the system. That's what usually switch means. It means it's switching or doing something different. Like it can do two different things. So it's a good in the way of naming it because the general populace is not gonna delve too into it that much. So it yeah. gets the, the idea across. What I do find really interesting, though, is that, and then I like that it actually works the way that it was shown in the release trailer there, that it'd be fun to take and actually, you know, go over and bring back some more of that group gaming type of aspect instead of always locked inside and stuff like that. Because that was the one thing that I always, like, remember with Nintendo. It was always... You're playing on like your N64 or something, and you had all your friends from around the neighborhood, and you all sat around on Nintendo. Yeah. And that doesn't really happen so much anymore. Those good old days of the 64, playing uh, some Goldeneye. Uh, Back in the heyday of gaming, if you yep. ask me. Perfect I, dark. I'm like an old man right now. But I know. It's it's, it was it was a lot of good things of interaction. These kids yeah. today don't know how well they got it. Speaking of kids, though, did you notice that there was no children at all in that ad? No, yeah. that's a that's very good approach. Really, that's not realistic at all for a Nintendo console. Like, you know yeah. what your primary buying market is. Yeah. Why would you just not so... Like, they only had one woman own a console and no kids. We mm -hmm. know who's really buying Yeah. Nintendo. They had like, two why? women. What's the girl in the airport and the girl on the rooftop. Does she have her own controller? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they had two women that apparently owned... Well, yeah, but they were young, vibrant women. Yeah. I not that I'm having kids. I'm not. Hashtag explore. Keep going. Keep going. And then after a while, his spine. Uh... All right, you're just not going to get there. It's going to be horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Sam enters his wardrobe. What will he wear today? Oh, how large is this? Oh, he's rich, I guess. 
He wears the same douchebag jeans every day, it seems like. He picks a pair of blue jeans. The ugly ones. The ugly ones. Sam successfully puts on his pants, <laughs> feeling more accomplished than ever. He proceeds to find a jacket. Only the best one will do. He settles for a mediocre one. Humble. <laughs> Fully clothed, Sam is ready for the day. P.S. He's not. Wow. <laughs> you gotta love the sarcasm. I know. <laughs> like, I like the fat stacks that are just sitting right there. He's like, yeah. there's money here. <sighs> you know what the floor reminds me of? Do you remember the uh, movie uh, Richie Rich? Yeah. Yeah. The floor just reminds me of that. Just I gotta put your though. shoes on too. Their shoes on somehow. He puts on his shoes, living the dream. Oh, the man is going for like having shoes style on. on. <laughs> hey, sometimes you got to, you know. Not that I. Well, Sam, you can function. Go. Thanks, and you go back in the. God damn it. <laughs> blink, Sam, blink. Don't, don't scream your balls against them. Sam, so Sam decides oh to my God. Down the <laughs> Apparently, too used yeah, to hurling to money around. Stairs. Yep. <laughs> he used to hurling money around. Bounce that all. I know, I know, I know. He's moving, he's moving. Left, Flappy right. Rooster is Sam's favorite Flappy game. Rooster. He has no time for playing with a flappy rooster right now, though. Oh, I want to play. What is he doing? Get on sticks. I don't think he won't let you. We're racist, but we had an understanding. Uh, he's in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Oh, Montreal, that's what's up. French Canadian extraordinaire. I promise to bring poutine along. Yes! Bring me some poutine. I've been wanting to try some poutine. Do you not know what poutine is? Is it what I'm thinking right now? Mm, probably not, no. What is poutine, Duncan? What? Uh, poutine is like French something. fries. It's like, I don't know. The best way to explain it is like French fries and gravy. And oh, it's like, food. I was thinking it was like another chip. No, no, no. Oh, I was no. like, I mean, I'm not judging you if that was the case. Amber does have a bit of a killer bob. What? Thank you. What? Thank you. You seem like you abuse people. Physically, with love from your mind, but for us it's painful. All right, so I think it's co op and it should work now. Yep, you should be good. So if I just. Oh, uh, so leader. my controller is no longer lit up. I don't know what you just did. Oh, crap, good stuff. Come on, you guys, it's like you've never played one of these things. Maybe should, do you have to hit A? I'm hitting A. No, it's you. He was leading. Yeah, I Oh, now, now this guy confused. Uh oh. Hold on, Ember, you see yours? I ain't got no. Oh, wait. Huh? What? Oh. Uh? Oh, wait. Huh? Yes. Uh. I'm gonna have to do that at the mount. So. Oh, you notice that guide? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You just brought up the Windows guide. Oh. You Balls. Can just, you can just close that. Just hit exit. It'll go away. And then. Uh, perfect hangover food as well. Works with well so, in a romantic setting. Poutine oh, So what is poutine? Oh, well, if you guys, if you're bringing her poutine, this romantic, I'm not getting in the way. I'm gonna get the heck out of the dodge. Um, it's basically food from heaven with a little devilish side to it. All right, you know, that's not working. We're going to have to just go with one. Sorry. We just started the game and we thought we were going to get, like, so much Aren't more. Aren't you safe? Work out. Yes. You just wanted to kill me in the game anyway, so. See? She doesn't even deny it. Only for revenge and things that you said about Zelda earlier. The truth, you mean? It's not working. Is this one working? That, yeah, yeah, that's the controller. You can, oh, yeah. no, I unplugged that one. No, yeah, I was, I was letting you know so you didn't unplug the camera. All right, there you go. All right, let's see. Nope. That forehead, 10 out of 10. 
Because his forehead was in the, in the way. Oh, don't look at your forehead. I'm like, it's just like a normal forehead. Anyway, so, yeah. Basically, what happens is Ubisoft is telling everybody that, uh, well, they're pushing it back to uh, March 14th, 2017. Uh, they wanted to decide on the fact that they wanted to really develop the game a little bit more. So yeah. it felt like a very Star Trek game. Sorry, side note. Why is everything getting pushed back or coming out in March next year? I think it's due to publishers. Okay. Publishers are like... Because it seems like that, it's like March 17th is like jam-packed already with a bunch of console, uh, with a console and a bunch of games coming out. So it's like, why would you... I would figure you're going to avoid that date, but more and more games are slipping to that time frame. It seems like it's going to hurt them. It could. It could, it could possibly hurt them, but you never know. Like, see, when they push certain things back, uh, it's, 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 it could be for the better or for the worse. We don't know exactly. But, you know, uh, it's one of those things where you actually end up uh, seeing in the end. You know, like, No Man's Sky kept getting pushed back, and we were all like, oh my god, it's just going to get better, it's going to get better. And then they gave us that game, you know. Uh, so it's, you know, or yeah, they were like Wildcard said, behind on development. That definitely does happen. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, oh, I like the Lord of the Rings too, until I saw the entire trilogy extended edition. I think I have to give him credit on that. Extended is a little bit too much. No, time. it's not. Extended is perfect. You think it's perfect? It's perfect. In one sitting? Yeah. I do it all the time. Do you do it all the time? Yeah. Wow. That's, that's... I'm a man of patience. If something is quality, I enjoy it thoroughly. Okay. You know, you guys are all just breaking my heart. I don't want to do this anymore. So all right. Not talk. Stop. I know to not talk about things I like with any of you. Oh, stop. Oh, yeah. stop. I like you. I don't know if I like you anymore after what you said. Post you want to rub your back? No. What? Oh, that, I am not that easy to appease, sir. Okay. You want me to get Chinese food and over snatch and watch together? Yes. So That's, yeah. All right. We're all the way back to that, guys. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so with that said, guys, moving forward, uh, we also saw a lot of great stuff. That was the last time I saw Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, soldier, don't beat up on him. Don't be mean. Anyway, so guys, let's really get to the nitty gritty of what everybody is going ape shit about. Yep. Uh, was it? Is this the Taco Discussion Club? <laughs> yes, the Material Lion. This is the Taco Discussion Club. <laughs> Where the Taco Discussion? How you doing, Lion? Oh, so no. <laughs> One of her, you were like one of her viewers. All right, guys. So bear with us in this moment. We got to get one thing up and set for you guys. So hold on. We're, we're at, we we got a new layout, so we have to try to this out. But anyway, guys, we want to show you what everybody's been going on completely. This is the first thing everybody's. It's kind of been an underwhelming kind of release, but let's see if we got it here. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna add one more thing here. Oh. And also I'll do something weird in the background. But they were super hesitant to do that for the Wii U. So what they're doing, I, I think what they're doing is by combining both, going to developers and saying, yeah, you can make money for our handhelds that we do well with, but you also have to make it support the home console. Because they couldn't figure out how to do that for two generations now. Oh, and with true. this, they kind of locked them in. Like, you can't just make money. You can't make a game for the Switch that only works on the go now. It has to work yeah. at home. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's smart in that regard. And I understand... From a business side, I understand why they would do that, and I agree with them on that, actually. But for me, when I'm like, because I am a Nintendo fan, I, or I, I don't know if I, after seeing this, I don't know if I am anymore. Like, I love their games, and I want a home Nintendo console where I can get the Nintendo experience. I just want it on stronger hardware so that, A, it has longevity, and B, we, we can see the Nintendo ingenuity that we and creativity that we see when they make their Zeldas and whatnot, and make them always look beautiful and innovative. You yeah. see them do even more. Yeah. yeah. I don't see that when I see the Switch. I see, well, that hardware is going to be outdated as soon as it launches. Like, I'm not wowed. Well, see, that's the thing is, I think what they were doing is they were pushing, like, that is just a tip of it, and the updates will come along with it. Like, updates. I don't think the hardware is going to be updates. Oh, like, updates. The, the... like, I think they'll update it before the final launch. Like, gotcha, gotcha. They yeah. still got a while to go. I mean, like, it's only October, so they got five more months before the official launch. That's not a lot of time for console development, is it? Well, I mean, if they're already finalizing the announcement now, I'm pretty sure they're just polishing specs or seeing what else they can fit if they need to. I mean, they, it's not hard to say, hey, we're using this chipset, but it, it's also upgradable to that chipset. Or maybe it's going to go for a year or two, and then they say, oh, guess what? We now have a new update this week. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You think they're going to yeah. go a modular approach where it's like 
three years in, there's a new Switch, like the Switch Up or something? Well, see, the thing is, I don't think they lose copyright, any... Nintendo. Don't don't you steal that from me. The Switch, <laughs> the up. Switch Up. The Switch Up. Yeah, that, that is a good one. Uh, so it says right here, uh, and look at how the things are going for Nintendo. We'll still be a decade behind, and Sony is merging with PC more and more, and Xbox with Xbox. This is true, and that's where we're, 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 yeah. we're looking at. In the end, Nintendo was it knows that they are not going to compete with Sony and Xbox. The traditional make sure that this home and offer quality Nintendo games that they cannot really create on the DS. It's true. It would be awesome to have access to online gaming through Switch, no matter what you go. Yep, yep, it's all yeah. right there. And exactly. guys, are all making good points for that. Exactly, I agree with everything they're saying. So we definitely see that this might be something to watch out for. I mean, I'm getting it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna. T I'm just. I'm. I'm telling you straight up. The reason why I'm getting it. Is I love Zelda and the new Zelda game came out. I freak out a little bit over Zelda, okay? Oh, I thought. I, okay. No, we're all Zelda fans. If oh, you did not God. watch one of the episodes, he was wearing the hat. I had a shirt. We're all Zelda fans here. Yeah. But the new Zelda game, holy, but Jesus, you know what that would Come be on. like? <gasps> Clean and empty. That, that, that's Sam that's decides to find some clues. I'd hate my day. Yeah. Imagine like you'd have to focus on your hand coming in front oh, and then wiping and standing at the same time. You yeah. fall in your own poop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. It's freaking amazing. Yeah. You're to wipe your own ass? Oh god. And then like, oh, you know, like it's a basketball he's got between his legs. He's just going like, ah, like bouncing it up and down like, oh. Oh, like one of those ah. things like when you were a kid. Those yeah, but his testicles right, are there instead. Oh. Right on. That's my body. It'd be so, it'd be so stop. painful. Please I'd, stop. That is. I'd hate my day right there. <laughs> I'd be like, nope, done. Oh, what are we doing wrong, yo? Whatever happened, Let's though? see. We need to get, like, some adult size. They yeah. probably were making men impotent. Sam can open them. doors now. Play with them. Clever boy. Oh, I thought that was the, uh, excess hormones from birth control in the drinking water. Excuse me? Yeah, that was a legitimate thing. What is over there, Sam? I'm gonna stop drinking water. Not that I'm having kids, I'm not. Hashtag explorer. Keep going. Keep going. And then after a while, his spine. Uh... All right, you're just not gonna get there. It's gonna be horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Sam enters his wardrobe. What will he wear today? Oh, how large is this boy's oh. rich, I guess? Yeah. He wears the same douchebag jeans every day, it seems like. He picks yeah. a pair of blue jeans. The ugly ones. The ugly ones. <gasps> Sam successfully puts on his pants, <laughs> feeling more accomplished than ever. He proceeds to find a jacket. Only the best one will do. He settles for a mediocre one. Humble. <laughs> Fully clothed, Sam is ready for the day. P.S. He's not. Wow. You gotta love the sarcasm. I know. <laughs> like, I like the fat stacks that are just sitting right there. He's like, yeah. there's money here. Richie Rich? Yeah. Yeah. The floor just reminds me of that. I gotta put your though. shoes on too. Uh-oh. Get your shoes on somehow. He puts on a fear? Yeah. Oh um. my god. Now I see why Duncan. It's probably Amber that killed the game. Uh, see, this is why run. Duncan -uh, no, is always leaning right, toward me, I get it. I'm scared, Duncan, you're gonna save me. Hold on. Hold I, on. Just, I just hit A, so wiggly, sorry. Huh? I don't, hold on. Oh yeah, this is, yeah. I dig the music in this game, though. So while we wait, what are you guys playing right now? 
And then by you guys, I mean the stream. Okay. Or you guys can answer too, I guess. You, let me I'm guess. I'm just trying to get Fallout. my... Well, yes. Thank you. And, and you're still and trying to get your rig well, sorted? Huh? You're still trying to get your rig sorted? Yeah, still trying to get that sorted. I'm thinking about switching on over to the game show to test out to see if my issue is actually OBS. Mm -hmm. but, That's really um, weird. Do people use game show that much? I've never really heard of people streaming like it. I don't know if it's good. Um, it's It looks like it, it's can be very... It has the potential of being something really, really good, I think. But it is not very intuitive, like I would say OBS Studio is. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh. Vortex. Oh. But, um, no, I'm planning on playing a game called Atlas Reactor by Tryon Games. Tryon, I know it's Tryon Games. I don't yeah. know Atlas Reactor. Alright, there you guys go. Perfect. Right. Press A again. Yep. Nice. I'm playing Shadow Warrior 2 and Roblox. Alright, guys. Nice. Let's start the story mode over again. Nope. Or continue? Or continue. Well, they didn't get to see the part of it because it's frozen there. Okay. Sam dies. Sam dies. Alright, All right. start with Sam dies. I don't want to see the part with the violent girlfriend again, but you know. You gotta stop doing that. This chick scares me. Just don't look at her. I know too. Oh what up, Alpha Chef? Ah, garbage. Hold on for a minute, guys. Give me a second. I don't know. I don't know even know why I was doing that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to no. see it. Hold on, guys. She is stalking her prey. I don't want to be her prey. I want to live. All right, continue. months before the official launch. That's not a lot of time for a console development, is it? Well, I mean, if they're already finalizing the announcement now, I'm pretty sure they're just polishing specs or seeing what else they can fit if they need to. I mean, they, it's not hard to say, hey, we're using this chipset, but it, it's also upgradable to that chipset. Or maybe it's going to go for a year or two, and then they say, oh, guess what? We now have a new update this week. Cause yeah, that's what I'm saying. You think they're going yeah. to go a modular approach where it's like three years in, there's a new switch, like the switch up or something? Well, see, the thing is, I don't think they lose copyright, any Nintendo. Don't, don't you steal that from me. <laughs> the switch up. <laughs> switch up. Yeah, that, that is a good one. Uh, so it says right here, uh, and look at how the things are going for Nintendo. We'll still be a decade behind, and Sony is merging with PC more and more. Xbox with Xbox on it. This is true, and that's where we're we're we're, yeah. we're looking at. In the end, Nintendo was it knows that they are not going to compete with Sony and Xbox. The traditional make sure that this home and offer quality Nintendo games that they cannot really create on the DS. It's true. It would be awesome to have access to online gaming through Switch, no matter what. You go. Yep, yep, it's all yeah. right there. And exactly. guys, are all making good points for that. Exactly, I agree with everything they're saying. So we definitely see that this might be something to watch out for. I mean, I'm getting it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna. T I'm just. I'm. I'm telling you straight up. The reason why I'm getting it is I love Zelda, and the new Zelda game came out. I freak out a little bit over Zelda. Okay. Oh, I thought. I, okay. No, we're all Zelda fans. If oh, you did not God. watch one of the episodes, he was wearing the hat. I had his shirt. We're all Zelda fans here. Yeah. But the new Zelda game, holy, but Jesus, that game is solid on every. That was the demo I played, and I loved it. It's. It's like an open world, it's it's Zelda meets Ark, and yet you adventure and you don't have to be told what to do. It just says, you know, you might want to move that tree over there. It's just like simple hints here and there, yes. but you really get to go back and explore and build and make. And I'm just like, yeah. Zelda, I love you. Oh. Welcome back. Oh my like, God, yeah. not all this bullshit of Wind Waker and all that other stuff Thank they put you. out there and all that other garbage games. I'm sorry, Zelda died for me. On the Super Nintendo, and that was it. And I don't even see. You said 64 Zelda was good. You're a retard. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna straight up say this. I mean this. Reason why? Ooh, you know what? I just thought of what I just said. No, that's not. Oh, wait, no, I'm just more. I'm just more shocked at the fact that you are calling the N64 Zelda's bad. And Ocarina of Time is regarded by many people. And I don't agree with them. I still. I'm gonna to show you past. after this. I'm gonna show you something that can. Link to the, no, Link to the Past is my favorite Zelda. But even in with that, even though I think Ocarina of Time is already solid, and I love Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask is the most mature Zelda game ever made. See, I see. That's the thing. 
is it to me they had good concepts the problem is it's during an era when we were trying to figure out things it was bad it was bad like first of all when you're hitting like bats like it may i know new pc here we're gonna be doing some live game demos on our youtube channel guys so if you guys are not following us on youtube you can actually join us i know it's a 1060 which is basically a 1070 which is basically a 1080 just higher gigabytes that's about it like or more yeah. yeah i mean that's essentially what it is but uh so on top of that guys uh so we're gonna be doing game playthroughs uh but i don't know if i should tell them guys should i tell them what we're gonna be giving away on our special friday halloween stream on the 28th i mean it seems like do it's you want to build a suspense do we I, don't, I don't know tease it? i know we should we should tease we them tease it? we shouldn't let them know some people don't like to be teased though you know some people like the action i don't and, know you know. But there's there's some fun in that teasing though. No, no. We, we can tease no. it out. Mm -mm. Yeah, no. we can. We can tease it out more than a New York uh, woman's hair. <laughs> what is that? What? I don't know. New Jersey. I, Sorry. Oh, okay. I know. Yeah, oh, see. Yeah. My bad. I missed that one up. <laughs> yeah, I fall asleep like a normal person now. No, I understand, soldier. It does happen. Anyway, uh, so. You know what? Screw it. We'll tell you all guys. Right, all right. So, guys, all I was right. fortunate enough to uh, acquire. Some Battlefield 1 codes. I won't tell you how many. They fall off the back of a truck acquire? Or what? you know people acquire? We we know people acquire. Okay, that's the legitimate one. The but anyway, guys, we got a butt ton of Battlefield 1 codes that we want to give to you guys. Mm -hmm. If you don't have Battlefield 1, you guys can now win yourself a free copy. But it's not just a typical copy. It's the early enlisters copy. Mm. Oh, oh. I want one of those now. What's going on? I know. If you're jokingly calls was it if you're jokingly calls you his girlfriend, what does that mean? A guy jokingly calls you his girlfriend. What does a that guy mean? Calls you his girlfriend. I don't know. Are don't you? Know. A, is that a girl? Was it? Was it like? Oh, oh whatever, girlfriend. Or was it like? This is my yeah, girlfriend. This is my girlfriend. Or my girlfriend. is he heterosexual? Because if he's, I mean, isn't, aren't there some people who say that in like play? Just in normal language. They could. They could. They could very much so. I would never say that about a woman randomly. Uh, they your actually, girlfriend? I yeah, I don't know if I would say that about my actual girlfriend, actually. You know, you gotta keep your options open. But Wait, you have a girlfriend? No. Oh. I did. Uh, oh. Uh, I know. I was like, he's hiding stuff from us and we're family. Well, exactly. I mean, like... I don't I also be like, Michael, tell us about your girlfriend. No, What's going on? I don't have a girlfriend. I'm just saying that... Are you, are you trying to keep it on the DL? No, that's not it either. I'm just saying... <laughs> All I'm saying is, if he says that about you, then he either thinks of you that way, or is game to thinking of you that way. So, take the initiative if you're interested, and if not, run for the hills. Yeah. That's all I can tell you. Get a restraining order right now. Just cut to the chase. So anyway, moving forward from the dating situation, yeah. uh, you got our opinion on that. But also, guys, on the simple fact that we'll be giving you guys Battlefield 1 codes. How we're going to be giving them, you guys need to tune in for next Friday when we do our special stream. We'll be doing Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yep. Wow, we got, we got a long stream week for uh, us. Exactly. Because what makes Zelda great seems to be different for you to talk to. I know people who like Zelda because of the story. There's, people don't realize that there's an actual timeline mm -hmm. to the Zelda series. The, game, the oh, way yeah. the games create are very correct. Um, the way the games connect is done very creat uh, creatively. Like, there's people who uh, think that the shade from Twilight Princess is actually one of the links that died in the old timeline because he fights mm -hmm. exactly like Link. Yeah. That's uh, for a lot of people, that connectivity, that lore, that lures them in. For me, yeah. it was the lore and it was the combat. I love the action because it's not just an adventure game. You're not just walking around and seeing the sights. Yeah. You're doing battle. Like, Link is a warrior. Yeah. Yeah. I love the combat. I like the, I love the action adventure part. I like yeah. everything about it. So for me, when I look at Majora's Mask, a game like that where this is a game that theoretically could be dealing with the fact that Link is having to come to terms with himself dying. It's a eulogy for death. That's mm. never been done in a Nintendo game, let alone mm. Zelda. Like, that's deep to me. And even after that, like, yeah, there's been Zelda games that were a little bit grittier and stuff like that. Mm. But Majora's Mask was the most adult Zelda game I've ever played. Like, even now when I go back and play it, I'm like, wow, this is really, really heavy. And... They did it in such a creative way where kids playing it aren't going to grasp that stuff. You have to be older yeah. to get that. Yeah. It's one of those layered games where, yeah, it could be a game. They a plan kid for us to grow up in the future. They plan yeah. for you to grow up and learn more and go back and say, Holy oh, crap. all yeah. the, the stages of death and the second, all of that's, oh. Mm -hmm. 
No other game, Zelda game has it. I feel like we need to make a YouTube session of this because this is actually going very deep. Uh, oh, yeah. there's people <laughs> we can go very deep. I know, I know. Zelda. Well, it, it, Zelda is just going into that part. Well, I will agree. All right, Twilight Princess was a redeeming factor. I really did enjoy it. I like Twilight that. Princess, and that gets I just, too. I felt like Ocarina is, like, when I played it as a kid, it was really good, but now. When, when I'm I not going to defend Ocarina of Time. I think that's the most overrated Zelda game of all time. So we agree with you. I agree with you on that. Oh, oh thank you for that, host Double Dorian. We do appreciate it. <laughs> but me and you agree. Ocarina of Time, overrated. It's Majora's Mask. Oh, oh Majora's Mask. Mask. Okay, Majora's yeah. Mask was the development of where yeah. it should have gone. Yeah. And then okay. we, got linked to, we got linked to the past, which is like the pinnacle, if you ask me, of Zelda. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Okay. Got to hold that, huh, Amber? Yeah. No L in Amber, but there's one today, huh? Your name is Lamber today in this episode. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. So moving on, so these two don't go at each other's throats. Uh, we also saw, guys, another kind of cool thing that came out this week was actually, uh, and and this was uh, for uh, Watch Dogs. Uh, I know a lot of people aren't that super excited about Watch Dogs, but we'll take a look at it anyway, guys. So a new trailer account for Watch Dogs is that if you buy Watch Dogs two, which it seems to be at this point, Watch Dogs is really struggling. Uh, to get people to be hyped about it, because I think everyone's just kind of like, whatever about it, which is kind of sad. Yeah. yeah. But then Watch Dogs had a good premise this first one. The second one, everyone's kind of like, mm. See, this was, yeah, and I agree with you on that. Thank you for that host so Keep much. Coming, Thank man. you so much. Guys, we're on fire tonight. Anyway, so I thought that was cool that Ubisoft was willing to do that. I was like, okay, you know, it's, it's one of the things that I think is kind of interesting. Yeah. But I think at the same time, too, you go like, yeah, but why did you release the game? It's like Mafia 3, like... It looks like you didn't oh, even do Q&A on that thing. Yeah. The fact that people could find, like, seven minutes worth of just bad programming. I was like, and man. Like they had to search for it either. They were just playing the game the normal way. <laughs> like, like, they oh, hyped it up so much. The last so honest release of Ubisoft, in my opinion, was they went bonkers and released uh, 8, Beyond Good and Evil, Prince of Persia, and another game with a week span. Yeah, yeah. What up, Brock Games? What's How's it going? What's up, Brock? How you doing, man? So I don't know, I'm gonna give Watch Dogs to a try. I am, even though I said I wasn't really, I'm like I'm not super amped for it or anything like that. But just because I felt that Watch Dogs One got a lot of undeserved hate, like it was a flawed game, but the premises was really cool. And being someone from Chicago, I loved how they portrayed Chicago in that game. They did a really good job, and that's very that's an aspect that people don't give them enough props for. So I agree, I agree. And that's so what they do with San Francisco, so. smoke break. <laughs> so and on top of that, guys. Talking of mistakes and failures. Uh -oh. uh, so it seems that after what we talked about last time about the Samsung Galaxy oh, yeah. uh, being used because it was actually a bomb, it seems that Samsung has put out a nice restraining order against all people and pulling down, or DCMA report as we all like to say, and pulling down all the YouTube videos of people playing GTA with <laughs> modded Samsung 7s being used as bombs. Uh, there was no official statement that we could find, to, you know, regarding the situation, yeah. but there definitely was a lot of people who were upset for the fact that even though Samsung may have made a mistake, they took it a little bit too far by taking down people's videos, because, oh, come on, you were in Grand Theft Auto. It's your phone! I mean, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what's the legality behind that, where, like, what crime is being committed by people doing it? You know what, it's more probably, um... Uh, what do they call it when uh, slander more like slander against the company for because they could product. be trying to sell it to a third yeah. world country and but make their money off it but that's on, that's 100 percent true though that oh. those things yeah are but it's it's an attempt to attempt to like save the brand name of like samsung you know galaxy note because if they try to produce another note for next year people they're still at this point, they're going to remember the 7 no matter what yeah, happens. Yeah. But... I mean, that phone literally it, blew up, so... Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it literally blew up. Yeah. And so, it, it, it's one of those things that it's just like... It's like the same thing with, like, Harambe. Them saying, don't see any more Harambe memes. I saw a new one where it was, like, booty out for Harambe. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's the same chicks. thing. Like, the more and you try I'm to stop something... That, so. Yeah. The more it's going to bring... Man. Well, you just I know you I'm were sorry. just assuming. I bisexual. just totally assumed. That's why we just said partners. Mm -hmm. You exactly. really thought we were going to be that degrading towards women. Well, Thank I'm sorry, but well, there's also the thing too. If uh, the male partner, if you are in a male male or female and a female partnership, you don't yeah. think that the other person already knows? Not necessarily. No. no, no. There's no definitive way of proving it. There's always that one partner that somehow is a little bit sneakier than the other. To keep doubt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. That's the that's the key. You keep doubt. If it can't be proved, you, you you're innocent. Basically, how OJ said it: if the glove don't fit, you can't you, quit. You must have quit. Exactly. That's it. I mean. And then he also went and re- uh, wrote a book called uh, "What If I Did It." Did he actually what? write that book? <laughs> that is the most gangster thing I've heard today. <laughs> that happened. Yes. That no. happened. Okay, OJ is my. Well, no, I don't want to kill people, but yeah, o- uh, not that he did kill it. A, a not that he. Not that he did that. We don't allegedly. Not no. He was found innocent. He is not guilty. Okay. Well, yeah. anyway, <laughs> moving past that part. So I'm not I'm, gonna ever get to date a white woman ever again. After that. Uh, I, just lost it. I know you were literally just been. Yeah. It was like the no fly zone. You just put yourself onto that you record and you were done. Just like a, they were just, just like, like, oh, he's, he's very cute. He's and no consoles are running 80. Was it? Uh, let's see. Uh, zero plays games. Consoles are running 86 anyway. Next stop is the garbage can for them. Buy a PC. Gaming quality price point exactly. And that's what we're offering over at Cypher Game. Anyway, besides that sh- shameless uh, plugging there. So, guys, today we are actually picking out a game from the PC genre. Uh, because, you know, we play PC games and consoles. But, you know, here we play PCs. So, let me show this to you guys. Uh, this is a game that we picked out. And I thought this was a really funny game. So, uh, let's see if we got it here. Uh, what? No. Joy brought up a good point where even if he... Double Jeopardy, he can legally make the book. So yeah. maybe he wrote the book saying, I didn't do it, but if I had, mm-hmm. still baller. I need to. OJ. Mm. It is baller status. Well, he's in prison, so I don't want to be like OJ, but I'm going to be kind of like OJ. You don't, you don't want to ever be like OJ. Yeah. You don't, but do want to be OJ, and I, I get that. You got the snow bunnies, you know? It, 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 I, like I, I get it, and he murdered one of the snow bunnies. But I, we don't. Eight. Come on, man. All right. All right. Hearthstone. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be my boy. I am your boy. I have... Anyway, moving forward, uh, we picked out a game that you guys <laughs> we thought would be entertaining. Uh, Forty Nights gameplay. So we're going to go through this. Uh, guys, check it out. It's actually pretty funny. We, we were intrigued by it. I found this uh, digging through the deeps. So what I like to do every so often is dig through the depths of Steam to find games that are intriguing. And this is one of the games... I-